And give it a couple minutes. Get crack a lacking. Hey, Debbie, how you doing? Do you have something? I'm just on um, going over on uh, IG. Let me check you. I'm going to check you, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did post something. We're all, oh, you did a uh, Cheshire cat. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Very cool. First show, first thing to show this morning. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Hi, Terry Brett. I'm sure Terry Brett's probably got something too. Let's look real quick. Terry. <clears throat> Let's see. Terry Brett did a scissors kangaroo and scales. Let's see what it says. I haven't seen this one. I'm going to like it right now. So she's got, uh, and that's Terry Brett three. Let's see what she's got. The fish is saying, what are you going to do with those scissors? And the kangaroo goes, well, I'm not planning to cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Deb. And then let's say oh, she's got another one here. Let me like that one. Then she's got this one. Nutcracker insect and insect. Two insects. <clears throat> okay, so she's got the nutcracker there. And let's see what she has over here on the side. Oh, that's just insect headdress and nutcracker. Okay. Insect headdress and nutcrackers. What is it? It's nuts crackers. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, Deb. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Good one, Deb. I mean, uh, Terry. <laughs> Hi, Pamela Kane. Uh, you're welcome, Deb. <laughs> Where's Terry? Ter there's Terry. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Uh, let's see, Debbie Bruce. Hi, Debbie. Who else am I? Let's roll on down here. 3G Brenda. Amy Lester. How you doing, Amy? How's everything going over at uh, Mike's and over at uh, Edwin's? <laughs> Amy's, a, Amy's a night owl for the most part. She's over at those shows that I usually don't make it to because they're on so late, but Edwin's not as late as he used to be now that he's not in Hawaii, but uh, Mike's still usually pretty late. It's good to see you, Amy. Let's see, Missy. Hi, Frank. How you doing, Frank? Oh, let's see, today is you, today your birthday, Frank? I think today's Frank's birthday. Happy birthday, Frank. Let's see, let's grab a couple of his man cards here. Here's a couple of Frank's man cards. I know I got some more here, but yeah, Frank, uh, Frank's some of his cards here. <clears throat> so happy birthday, Frank. Let's see what else. Uh, Tina, say hi to Tina, Janet, 3G. Hi, Angie. Hope your hand's doing better. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday, Frank. Uh, so, yeah, so I thought today we would deconstruct some of my old journals. Now, y'all know, and I'll probably have to show y'all some of the ones I've done before just for context. So you guys that have seen them a bunch of times, be patient. Some of the ones, the pages that I've already lose and I've already cut down, already put it on, put on some white cardstock. Oh, there goes the lighting. Um, so... Let's see there. That's pretty good. Let's see. Ann makes and Hubster is home today. Today's um he's on it's Juneteenth. So happy Juneteenth, everybody. And uh he will be popping in maybe after a while. Uh, I still have to pick uh I still have to pick three books for my uh community tab three book Monday. I still have to do that. Um, so I'll do that after a while, but he might pop in. Maybe he can bring in a couple of books he's been reading. Let's see. Uh, hi, Aunt Beck. Hi, Raul. 
I know I'm probably missing some people. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks for being here every Monday and Wednesday. I appreciate it. And I got my lemon water. I don't see Rachel yet, but uh, we'll do a little quick ASMR. Hi, Annie Tanner. Uh, good water. Good lemon water. So, I've just pulled a few, and now I've got many more. I can't even tell you how many hundreds of journals I have. And I'm sure that's plural. <laughs> because they line my room and my shelves. But I pulled a few. I went through and knew that there were some things I could pull out of all of these. And um, including this one. Um, Pacola, I don't know, I haven't seen her yet. Pacola was asking me not too long ago, whatever happened? To, I think it was Pacola that asked me what happened to my handprint journal. This one's from 2019. And she was asking me, whatever happened to that? Well, that day, I didn't know. I couldn't find it that day. But um, for one, because the spine is this on when it's on the shelf. And I knew the book was red. So I was looking for a red spine and I couldn't find it. But I found it. I found it over the weekend along with some other. Uh, now, again, I did not pull half of the books that I could deconstruct. But I pulled some. Um, let's see. Hi, Tori. How you doing? How many journals do I have? <laughs> I, I really, I've got, if, if you, I'll just look at them by sh this much shelf space. Okay. By this much shelf space, which is a, what a three, is it a, is that a three foot? Most shelves are three feet wide. All right. We'll go by three feet. I've got at least one, two, three, hang on. I'm going to go around the room. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, some are doubled, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going around the room, 15, 16. Going around the room, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, probably somewhere. Uh, maybe under 30, just under 33 foot shelves. So that's 90, 90 feet, 90 feet of art journals in different stages. So yeah, ni 90 feet because three, 30 shelves times three feet, that's 90 feet. So yeah, there you go, Tina. <laughs> That's just art journals. That's not uh, and Society of Idea Collector notebooks. That, all, all kinds of journals, right? <coughs> all my art books I moved into the other room. My color books I moved into the other room. So this room is pretty much just all the, when I go spin around this room and you see all these shelves that have books on them. Those are all art journals and sketchbooks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Deb. I'm on that. I'm on the cusp. <laughs> Let's see. Um, <clears throat> yes, that's uh, 90 feet of journals, th uh, 3G. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> um, let's see. Do I need to show anybody else? I show Deb Ease and I show Terry Bretts. Um, I think Rachel might have had something too. Let me look. And I think Janet did another um, <coughs> Pantone. Let's see. Rachel. Nope, I don't see Rachel having anything else new on my IG. She might have it in my. She might have it in uh, message messages. And uh, let's see. Let me go over to Janet. And uh, she did do a another Pantone. She did a Pantone. And when I say she did a Pantone, it's like these cards here. The Pantone cards that you can buy um, either 50 or 100 pack of them uh, off of Amazon. And uh, so this is her newest one that I know of is this sea turtle but she did um she did this frog she did the swan she did the squirrel she did these on her show last monday and she did these jeans i love these faded that's the name of the color too faded denim and look at those jeans isn't that awesome guys 
That is awesome. It'd be fun to just hang out. At, well, <laughs> I have had, I've probably had, I don't know, somewhere between eight and 10 different streamers and, and people from YouTube, you know, that know we knew each other from YouTube, but have been here. Jana has not been one of them yet. But uh, yeah, I think I've probably had eight or 10. I'd have to go back and, you know, over, over the 13 years that I've been streaming, I've met probably eight to 10 of y'all in person. Um, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, I sent him the card, uh, Frank. Yeah, I sent Christopher the card that he worked on. And uh, I've been sending them out. Do you want you would you like a couple of Pantone cards, Frank? I'll send you out a couple if you want. Um, oh no, Janet's cards aren't there yet. She's supposed to get up. Weren't you supposed to get them on Friday, Janet? She ordered her own set, her own Pantone set. And obviously she has not got them yet. Ooh, maybe they'll come before. Well, your mail usually runs while you're streaming, doesn't it, Janet? Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Scrolling, trying to catch up on everything. Catch up. Let's see. Jen, Susan, Dawn, Missy. I said hi to Annie Tanner. Who else? Yes, I know. Wasn't it great, Debbie? She did some good ones. Christy Color. Uh, it was supposed to be there Friday. Yeah, not happy I got a bunch of stuff coming on Wednesday. Um, let me go to my Amazon here. I got I got Wednesday delivery coming. Let's see your orders. What do I have coming? Ooh, I got some good stuff. Y'all probably won't get to see it till next month. And not, you know, sometimes Amazon comes early. If it comes tomorrow, then I'll show everything on Wednesday. If not, then you'll have to wait till next week. But yeah, I got six things coming. Is it six? No, five things. I got five things coming on Wednesday. All good stuff, I think. I got uh, two books. No, I got, I do have, I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, six things. I got two books that I'm going to read, two new collage books, and two other things. So yeah, we'll have stuff to show next time after my Amazon order gets here. Let's see. Uh, yes, there's a hundred. There's, you can buy a 50 box too, Janet. I don't know if you saw that. Most people were all buying the 100 box, but you can buy the uh, 50 box, but you might as well just buy the 100, right? So I didn't see if Frank answered me. Frank, did you want a couple of them to play on? They're just like, here, let me, <clears throat> they're these like this. See, they're Pantone cards. They're, they're the size of, a, they're the size of a postcard. They're four by six or they're about, but the place that you, the section you work on is, let me go over to my ruler, is uh, four by, just under four by four. It's like four and four by three and three fourths. <clears throat> but, uh, and I already, I put uh, some matte medium on this one, so it's ready to go. But uh, yeah, so I can, I still have not found the two or three that I did three or four years ago. The Pantone card challenge has been around for a long, long time. Uh, well, at least four or five years, because I did mine three or four or five years ago, probably four years ago. And I can't find the two or three. They're on my Instagram, but I can't find the actual cards. So um, yeah, let's see. Uh, who else am I missing? Did I just tag you on drawing? Okay, so Raul, let's go over to Raul's IG. Let me go over there and see what he's got going on. Um, let's see. Let me tag. Let's see. Wait. Home oh, tag. <clears throat> okay, so Raul did inspiration for making well. <laughs> yeah, it's a, little, it's a little cartoon lemur. That's cute, Raul. Can I give you? Can I give you something to make it look more like a lemur? If you do, put dark circles, darker, bigger circles around his eyes, like here, can you see my lemur there? Look, look, if you put dark circles around the eyes, it'll look even more lemur-esque, <laughs> more lemur-esque, but you can tell by the tail what it is. <laughs> Thanks, Roll. that's cute. 
Um, let's see. Who wants 50 when you can spend a couple? Okay, Frank, you want Frank, you want to tell me a couple of your favorite colors or what colors you'd like, and I'll write it down. Frank, Pantone cards. And where's my Sharpie? Look, tell me a tell me a couple of colors you like, Frank. <clears throat> and I will write that down. Let's see. Um, what else? Hi, Shaz. Uh, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Rebecca. I still my local hardware store and grab. Okay, yeah, you can grab paint chip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you. Oh my gosh, Rebecca. I'm gonna take that off so nobody sees it. You grab that many. I usually don't grab. If I grab paint, uh, well, paint chip cards, I get about ten at a time. Oh my gosh, you must have taken one of every color. Uh, we expect to be seeing some pan, some color challenges on your uh, Instagram, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, it's because of Frank. Card me up. I'll, I'll either, you can tell me a couple of colors out of your favorite colors, or you can be surprised. Either way. Uh, Tina, I'm a retroll coloring book coming the 1st of July. It's called Universe. Oh, I'll have to look for that, Tina. Although I haven't co hardly colored in the other Maria trolls that I have. <laughs> Let's see. Who else? Um, oh, your Sharpie was leaking. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> Okay, you're forgiven. You're forgiven for not giving them some some dark eyes. <laughs> I think I sent you a, a lemur sticker, Raul. Now, when it will get to you, we'll see. But I think I think a lemur sticker was in your uh, your envelope. Let's see. Um, purple and red. Okay, writing that down. Purple and red. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, Frank. I will pick that out for you. Let's see. Um, I lost, what did she say? I lost, I cost friend, owned, oh, your friend owns a store. Okay, well then, okay then, Rebecca. <laughs> Hi, Christopher, how you doing? Uh, good to see you. Uh, Christopher streams every Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern and does a one-page comic. Oh, he did, do, he did use one of my stickers. He said, well, do you want me to give you credit? I said, you don't have to do that, Christopher, but. I said, if you want to, it's fine, but you don't have to. He used some of the stamped uh, swap things that we all swap because he was in the swap. Let me go look up Christopher here. And he used, um, well, he's done a couple cents, but here's the one with the, here's the one where he used the lemur. He made Captain Lemur. <laughs> Y'all have to go read his comics. They're hard to see on IG because you can't just touch them and keep them big. You got to pinch and drag, but it's all about sushi. And what is sushi? Y'all need to go over there. So there's the sticker he used. <laughs> and then he's got a couple other ones here. He did uh, shoulder pads gone wild. <laughs> and what's the last one? I haven't seen this. one. Oh, yes, I did. I didn't like this one yet. Um, he got the color uh, Willow Bow, which is kind of like an olive green. And uh, so he incorporated the words Willow and Bow <laughs> into his comic. So y'all go over there. Christopher underscore Runciman underscore Canada. And uh, he has a he posts a, he posts one every day, every Monday through Friday. So hi, Pacola, my little Snapdragon. How you doing? Um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked it, Christopher. Yeah, the green and the what was the other one? The color you use the other color too. There was two colors, I know he used two colors the green, and so there's the green one, and then this one was the willow bow. There's see, he you did you hashtag uh. Christopher, you need to hashtag uh, Pantone Challenge 2023. So all those people that follow, uh, go back in there and put hashtag Pantone Challenge 2023 so that everybody will see it and you'll get more followers. <laughs> dude, dude, <laughs> go put it in. Pantone Challenge 
2023, although the Pantone Challenge has been around for longer than since 2023, but that's the new hashtag for this year. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> okay, we get it, Rebecca. Thank you. <laughs> Goof. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's see. <coughs> There's Rachel. Hood, hood morning to you, too, Rachel. <laughs> I know she meant good morning. There's my um, my uh, morning lemon ice water uh, ASMR for Rachel. I see cats creeping in here. They'll probably be up here in a minute. Let's see. Uh, just posted a drawing that you did this morning. I just tagged you. Okay, Terry, did I get to, did I get that? Uh, I'm scrolling back, so I'm not sure if I've already read that. Let me go back. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I read that. Oh, no, here's a new one. Oh, my gosh. She did. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what was I called? The uh, oxalotl. She did it. Is that how you say oxalotl? <laughs> With a big grin. Oh, my gosh. So uh, <laughs> she just did that. Oh, my gosh. Terry, you have been rocking this challenge and all these, and all these, uh, <laughs> making these cartoons out of them. That's awesome. That's awesome one, Terry. I love that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So, oh, thanks, Tina. There's uh, Christopher's YouTube channel. Let's see what else. I uh, said hi to Kitty Jen. Mm. Thank you, Tina. Tina's on the snapping on the links this morning. Here comes the uh, Malibu. Hi, Cat and Pace. Good to see you. It rolls. It's your birthday, too. I missed that. Happy birthday, Roll. If I missed it, I didn't see you say that. And maybe you didn't say it here, but happy birthday, Roll. <clears throat> Along with Frank. Let's see. Shoulder pads is one. Yeah, that dark green. Yeah. And the Pantone challenge. Okay. Well, you need to go hashtag them. Hashtag those babies. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, she said he said I will. Okay. Uh design do over. You just got your hundred. Well, Janet's jello because she's waiting on hers. Hers was supposed to be there Friday. Maybe you got yours because she put yours in one day earlier. Design do overs. I'm teasing Janet. She'll get up. She'll probably get them today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Uh yes, cloud invasion for sure, Rachel. I see you, baby. I see you. I know. Um, let's see. Um, hi, CK. Chris in Mexico lurking. Okay, I know you are teaching and working down in Mexico. We will. We know. We know you're busy. Thanks for popping in whenever you can. Uh, scrolling, trying to catch up. Oh, your, it was your wife's birthday. My birthday's on Valentine's Day. Okay. All right. Well, happy birthday, Mrs. Raul. <laughs> or Mrs. Reynolds. <laughs> Let's see. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> good, good man. Good man. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> You're welcome, Terry. I, I really have been enjoying your take on all the prompts. And you've been rocking those. Let's see. Uh, all right. I think I've scrolled down to the end. Judy O. Oh, thank you, Rebecca, for the super sticker. Thank you. And Rebecca, did you, did you ever get, wasn't it your son that was? I sent a lemur to? <coughs> I sent so many out, guys. Really, I do forget who I've sent them to. You can't go over to the keyboard, baby. You have to stay here. Uh, didn't I send your son Spider-Man? Didn't I send him a lemur? I can't remember. You have to let me know. Um, if you, yes. Do you, what do you want, Rebecca? I will write that down. And Rebecca, send me your address again. All right, see, it hasn't come yet. Send me your address again, Rebecca. I, send it to me again. You got Y'all have to send me your addresses almost every time, guys. Unless it was just like the day before or something. Send me your address again, Rebecca. You have my email, right? And it, it, my email is always in my description box, but here it is again, Rebecca. Email me again, and I will send him out another um, 
another lemur and what would else would you like what else would you like uh rebecca <clears throat> gabriella hello uh let's see thank you tina tina's always on the thank yous as well tina said she might have to leave early today so if y'all see her missing she might have to leave all right let's see a piece oh Oh, good, Terry. Your peace sloth arrived. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so, um, Rebecca, what would you like? I'll send another lemur for your son. And what else would you like? I'm not seeing her answer. Let's see. <clears throat> I did, I did send John out. Um, I went ahead and printed out some stickers of the um, Oak Island Brothers for John. And I, I kept me a set too, just because we both love Oak Island. And I did send him a copy of, the, uh, of my drawing, a print. I sent him a print of the Oak Island drawing. And then I printed out a couple of stickers and I sent John some stickers too. So let's see. Rebecca, you got a peace dude left <laughs> i got a peace dude i'm pretty sure yeah i do and a peace sloth okay lemur and peace sloth peace dude yeah i got the peace dude here i need to cut him down so yeah so this is from a poster that i have y'all seen my posters I'm not going to drag out the posters because we're going to do um we're going to do what you call it today we're going to do deconstructing art journals so let me just cut out the piece log here. Oh, wait, this goes this way. I'm trying to remember how I cut them all out the same. I'm trying to remember them. So, and I'll send you this, and I'll send your son another lemur. And if he gets, if the other one comes in, then you got two lemurs. But send me your address again, Rebecca, please. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. There's your peace, dude. <laughs> and a lemur. Let me get out a lemur here. <clears throat> okay, Rebecca. There we go. <laughs> and Frank, I got, the, he wants Pantone cards. I'll pick your colors out after a while, Frank. Okay, so... And uh, I'm going to be making more of my creepy monst my uh, movie monsters my way. I'm going to print out a bunch more for um, I'm going to print out a bunch more for uh, October. So let's put those right there. Let's see. Going to make a new journal with the peace dude on the cover. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So. You're welcome, Rebecca. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you which journals I've pulled. I think it was Bacola, and I've since she's she's here since uh, I I said it earlier. Can I take? Oh, Terry wants three prompts before we get started. Okay, and anybody else that wants? Uh oh, three prompts. Let me go ahead and mix them up again. Anybody else that wants three prompts? Let me know. I'm going to grab a stack. So this will be for, for the day. So anybody that wants three prompts, let me know. And you can do whatever you want with your three prompts. You can do a, you can write a poem. You can write a story. You can do a cartoon. You can do a comic. You can do like Terry's brand. <laughs> little, little cartoon characters. All right, Terry, here we go. Three for you. Jacket. Sun. I'm just going to pull off the top and bridge jacket sun and bridge terry okay two sets okay oh, oh that's rachel wants two sets okay so there you go um terry and anybody can use the same ones if y'all just just if you post something with them just put the put the uh you know indicate in the description of whatever you post that you use those prompts so we all know otherwise we're guessing because there's I, I like i said i got like over 200 prompts in that bag okay oh and uh christopher wants three okay so rachel wants two sets okay so terry there's yours all right rachel two sets for you 
rocks, wind, and mermaid tail. Okay, that's one. Ocean, watch, and any fruit. Okay, there you go, Rachel. Rocks, wind, and a mermaid tail. Ocean, watch, and any fruit. All right. And then Christopher wants a set. All right, Christopher. Beetle. I'm just taking off the top. Hourglass and trains. Beetle, hourglass, and trains for Christopher. Okay. So there we go. <clears throat> all right. And I will put all these to the side so these don't get picked again today. They'll go back in the bag later, although I do still have a stack here. So we'll go off this stack if anybody wants any throughout the day. All right. There we go. And uh, anytime, like, for instance, especially like Terry, Rachel, the ones that pick them all the time, I always tell them if they want something different if, or if they get the same one, you know, because that does happen. The same one comes back out of the bag if they get the same one that just to let me know and I'll give them a, another one. Right. Give them another one. All right. So these are some um, art journals. Like I said, I. I I haven't counted the journals exactly, but in this room, I have approximately 30 feet of journals. <laughs> 30, 30, three, sorry, 33 foot shelves of journals, which equals 90 feet. So I have at least 90 feet of journals in this room. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> that uh, I've worked on over, uh, most of my older art is in the closet and portfolios and stuff. So I can, I can pretty much say that these journals that I pull and we talk about and I show uh, on stream have happened in the last 20 years. I've been in this house, in this room for 22 years and I've been streaming for 13. So the bulk of them have probably been in the last 13 years streaming. <clears throat> but um, yeah. So out of the 90 feet <laughs> of journals, um, I picked one, two, three, four, five, six. And also, y'all know, y'all seen these before. So, and I, I do want to show a little bit of them to give y'all context. So I'm going to pile these to the side for just a minute. Oh, I picked three, four, five, six. Yeah, I picked six. So this is one of my handmade ones here. This is just made out of copy paper and rubber bands. <laughs> Rubber bands are great for making a journal, but they don't last. They will eventually, you know, dry out and snap. So it, I have since moved from rubber bands to the stretchy string that you can buy in the jewelry department of, um, you know, your craft stores. So they're stretchy string, same, about the same size as a rubber band, but they're not going to rot like a rubber band will. Right. So we're going to go to these here in a minute. But th this is some of the pages that I have left over from other deconstructed journals. And then what I do is. I, and I didn't even pull me. Now it's buried under here. <laughs> I did pull <coughs> out a here we go. My viewfinder, that you just make a viewfinder, make two L's and you got a viewfinder. And um, so you can look at your work and view find what you like and then cut it down. Now, you got to be a little bit brave to cut out, take down your, your journals and cut them apart. It, it does not bother me at all. I will, y'all know, I'll deconstruct anything, <laughs> but I know it. you have to be a little brave. So we're going to do that. This is one that I have a whole bunch of already deconstructed journal pages taken out that I've not cut down yet. And then in this book, this is all uh, pages that I have cut down. And again, another little port handmade portfolio um, that I have cut down pages from. So I'm going to reach out for a minute and just flip. Let's see. Let me just get the light there because it wants to flash out. But going back from black to white. <clears throat> when you get too many, just start ripping. Them. That's what I do. But I don't usually rip them. I usually cut them. <laughs> Sometimes I rip them, but a lot of them I can't rip to use for paper 
uh, in collage because um, they will, I think I got the whole stack upside down or some of them are upside down anyway. This one is. I got some of them upside down. I'll try to flip them as I go. Uh, because a lot of the papers are thicker, you know, they're thicker uh, mixed media pay or cardstock papers that really don't rip and bode well for separate collages. I can do it, but it has to be something really special to use that for that. Hi, Lucette. So um, these, as you can see, are the backgrounds and different parts of different parts of um of other art journals that I've done and then I cut them down and then I work them. So like this one's been worked there with that astronaut. Some of them are, the, I'm going to try to go different sizes. I mean, different ways. So they're cut down. These right here on the top are some of my recent space ones, but they're different parts of art journals. And then I, y'all know I do mixed media. So then I'll go in here and paint on them put stickers or more collages on them and, you know, turn them into little stories and stuff. But they've been cut down like this pile here into uh, different size squares. Here's the one I did for William Shatner um, when he went into space and I did a phone home. <laughs> I did tag him in this on uh, Twitter, uh, you know, a couple years ago when he went into space. And although he has answered me before on Twitter some years ago, he did not answer me on this one. But that one's to you for you, Bill. Um, let's see. So then, uh, yeah, so this one has been cut down and I've painted, added things to it and uh, turned it. This one's posted on IG. <clears throat> so if I've signed them, then they're done. Pretty, you know, I usually don't go back and, and fix anything else other than once they've once they've been uh, signed. Then I I know that I thought they were done at the time. This one's on IG, City on a Hill. I really like this one, and it's you can't really tell. This is one of the, unless I say, and it kind of it kind of is kind of cool. Uh, if I don't say what size it is, and you see this on Instagram, I'm not going to go back and try to find. This is from 2022. I'd have to go way, you know, I'd have to go further back, uh, for far back to find this one on IG. But it's fun to, if I don't put that this is like a three by six in the description, then you don't know. You don't know how big this is in real life, right? Thank you, Flo. And hi, by the way. Thank you, Lucette. Good to see you. Hi, Fernando. Good to see you. How you been? Uh, good to see you. Good to see everybody. Um, so you don't know how big they are. And I know that lights, the, the light does not like the white paper. Let's see if I can brighten it up just a little while I'm flipping through these. So I, I wanted, for those that had not seen these before or don't know what I mean when I say I'm going to deconstruct journals today, this is the ultimate, the ultimate purpose the ultimate purpose <laughs> is to do this, to do these kind of things. Okay. So I'm going to kind of flip quickly while I'm reading chat. And um, so you can see them. <clears throat> this one has a little, there's a little conclave of people in that cave right there. Conclave, a cave of, con a conclave cave of people. <laughs> so you can see this is, you know, different parts of art journals I've cut out that I've gone in and painted and painted and, you know, add to it, right? Added to it. <clears throat> Added the water, the stars and the break in the space. <clears throat> so, and then now we're going to probably get into parts, into more of them that I haven't uh, done. They're not, they're not finished, obviously. But uh, I'm going to flip through them so you can kind of see them. Are we close enough? I think, I don't know. I don't, if I get any closer, I know it's going to really flash out. But I think this is good. So um, so that's what I do with old art journals that have that I don't like the pages or I'm not using the pages or I think I could do better with the pages. You take your viewfinder. And I'll do that in a minute. You take your little viewfinder and just roam it over your page. And I trust me, you will find something on that page you like that you can at least see a start to, you know. 
at least see a start to that you can cut out and then expand on. So I'm just going to kind of flip through them kind of quick. <clears throat> Hi, Arlene. How you doing? I love this one. I love this one. I, I don't even want to touch it because I love it so much. But someday I'll do something with this. I love the pen at the bow of the ship. Oh, just I just love this one. Oh, I like this one too. There's my dying dinosaur bones coming down off the waterfall there. And then I just kind of painted in some rocks because the rock painting in the rocks like this kind of reminded me of the bones. So it's kind of like, you know, well, juxtaposition there. <clears throat> Thank you, Kitty Jen. I like them all too. And uh, so as you can see, I'm never going to run out of things. Uh, I'm never going to run out of things to um, make something with. Right. So, but they're just different parts of journals that, I've recombined or, you know, cut down. Kind of, it can be a combination of both. Mm. So I'm just going to keep kind of flipping because there's a stack. There's a lot here. So I want to cut, you know, kind of get through. But uh, I wanted to show this so you can see where we're, where I'm headed with when I say I'm deconstructing my journals. This is where I had to. And then I use these for um, scenes in building uh, worlds with. As you can see, there's a lot, there can be a lot of world building going on here. Uh, <laughs> and some I like better than others. Some I may end up adding a whole nother section of a uh, art journal page to because, um, you know, I see something that needs more done to it. This right here is one of uh, Catherine Anderson's doors that I added a cat. <laughs> um, I really like this one too, although I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I really like where that one's going. It's got a little, like a little building up there. Let's see my, put it in caps guys, if y'all are talking to me. So I, uh, I know you're talking to me. There's some more horizontal ones. He's peeking over one dimension into the other. <clears throat> and I've tried a few that come over the edge. I kind of like it sometimes, but sometimes not. But I, I like to try it here. You know, another another uh, astronaut, more space. Y'all know I love me some space, time, portals. No, I love all that. I like this one too. I like this one with the door. <clears throat> really like this one. And I like this one too. And this one will have watch hands probably going up to there and probably going right up to there. I love the wa idea of the watch hands of time pointing, going somewhere. <clears throat> Hi, Jessica Sparkles. We're getting there, guys. We're getting down to the bottom here. I like the owl and the butterfly. I think I want this one. Yeah, this one have my mountains. With the crashed, crashed time in the mountains. This one with the stairs. I already put the watch hands on this one. The stairs going up into space with time intersecting with Earth. There's Earth up there. I like this one too. I like them all for different reasons. Otherwise, you know, I'd just throw them in the trash if I just thought I wouldn't like them at all. <laughs> So, and I, this one I put into Procreate to play with. I really like this one with the little path going into the underneath there. I like this one. So I put that one in Procreate to play with. I wish I had more time to play in Procreate, but this, you know, painting and mixed media and, and a physical, you know, 
rather than digital is more my love. Although I have some visions of things I could do with procreate that if I got good enough at, I could really imagine, you know, it would really be cool, but I'm not skilled enough in procreate to do some of the things I have in my head. So I pretty much stay with my, you know, analog. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm the camera. So yeah. But anyway, so yeah. These are also slicker paper and they're moving. Okay, so you get the idea. I don't think I've done anything with any of these. Okay, so this is what ends up happening on the pages after I've deconstructed. So hang on. Let's make a nice little pile here. Again, this is just a handmade the lighting back here turn the brightness back down now that the white paper is gone there we go <clears throat> all right let's move this to the side and i'm gonna drop my uh, all right <clears throat> so these are some that i've already taken out of journals but what i'm going to do today is i've got a bunch of journals here that i'm going to cut things out of there, it doesn't bother me at all to take things out of other journals. All right, am I missing anything in chat? I'm not seeing anything in caps. Hi, Dot. Um, let's see. And Janet, what do you plan on doing today? I know you were planning on doing your Pantone card challenge because you ordered the 100 cards. But since they're not in yet, do you have a plan? <coughs> do you have a plan for what you're going to do since you didn't get your cards in? Scrolling, scrolling. All right. So then here's another just little cardboard portfolio thing that I make these. I just make them out of cardboard and um, cover them with paper. You know, this one could probably use some of the binding seam tape right there. It's kind of falling down. <clears throat> so let's see. What's this right here? Whoops. That's what I cut down little, little. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to do a little flip through this. Now, some of these, like this one I did in 2011, back on Ustream, we could have a slideshow running. When you went to Ustream and you clicked on somebody, you could have a slideshow of your art. This was one of the slideshow pieces that I had back in my Ustream days. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm still looking for it because I always miss what Janet answers me. Okay, there we go. Going to draw out of the cool stuff books. Okay. Yeah, that would be awesome. Janet got two new books. Well, she actually got three books because she got a butt book. <laughs> but uh, two books of cool stuff to draw from. Okay. All right. So these are pieces that I have cut out. Uh, and some of them have backs and fronts. So I don't know if I'll like this. I do like that better than this. I have to see more of a story going on with this. And then what I'll do is I'll take some cardstock. Let me move this over here. I'm running out of space. I'll just take a, and you, and you can, you know, spend an afternoon doing this with one of your old journals. Be brave. Be brave. Oh, this one I called Axis. I wrote the name of it on the back. So this one was Axis. Um, sometimes I put the names of the title, you know, uh, my own titles on, but uh, very rarely do I, um, uh, very rarely do I put titles in the description of my piece. I have no space here. Let's put some of this on the floor. I have no space. Let's do one at a time here. Let's do one at a time. Okay. All right, <laughs> so this is thick and this is deconstructed journals as well. So what I was, oh, what did I do with that one? Oh, here we go. So what I'll do is uh, in a minute, I'm going to take journals I have not cut them out of yet. And I'm going to take my viewfinder and go around and find sections. And then I'm going to cut them down. 
here's these have already been cut down. Um, you've already drawn bonds on legs. Uh, this is gonna make you wince. Oh no, no, they're not. If it's a finished page, I will have cut it out and will be reusing it on something. All right, so then I just take eight and a half by eleven cardstock, just because it's a good, just gives it a little frame and gives it a little setting for things, you know. Let me see. Should I move in one? Maybe. Let's see. That's better. And so then I'll just take some double-sided tape, which, you know, then I can remove it if I want. It's, it's okay. It's all right. Don't panic. <laughs> and I'll just put some double-sided tape on there. And sometimes I'll put it up higher, sometimes in the middle. It, it, for me, it's not so much. It's just the idea of having a white border around it. It helps you kind of frame the piece and see it better if you have it framed rather than just seeing it like this on a table with just all kinds of stuff around it. If you have it in a white frame, you see how much more um, presence that has? For, and for the dishes. Um, so um, yeah, it, it just gives it more presence. So this one, I'm not gonna, that's off the back of a, I like this much better. So we're going to just tape this down. I'll do a few out of here and then we'll start cutting some out of the others because I pulled six different journals to work with and I did pull a stack of white cardstock here. So you'll see what I mean when you, I just eyeball it, <clears throat> but you see how that gives it so much more storytelling vision if it's in a frame, it does me, maybe it doesn't, doesn't same, doesn't matter to you if it's in, uh, you know, framed or not, but it helps me to kind of focus the thought on it. If it's in a piece of white cardstock, what do y'all think? Y'all think it gives it more presence by having it in a white cardstock. This one is just cut down from another bigger piece and Right now, I'm not I'm not feeling that. So I'm just going to kind of go through here and kind of look at it. Like, I do like this, but it's not enough. So I'll have to wait till. And I do like this. I do like something with this, maybe. There may be a, there may be a possibility here, but I'll, I'll keep those two together. Let's see. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of flip through here. There's a piece of, uh, see, this was a full on page. These have already been cut down. Okay, and I think I'm going from the back side. I think I'm going from the back the back to the front. So let me flip the whole thing over here. Okay. <clears throat> I like the little hummingbird. But, um, you know, I'm just going to pick right now. I'm just going to pick out of here what I might want to put in a little frame. If you have any questions, put it in caps. I drew a cap of jam. I just don't have it on me. Okay, so there's these two guys here talking about something. I kind of like it. But I'm just going to I'm just going to flip through. Here's some other little pieces that I cut down and I was using spackle on just to play with the spackle. So you see the spackle and then metallics. So I do like this idea, but I'm still kind of it's not it's not perfected to me at my what I envision. <laughs> so, but I did play with some spackle on some of these. And uh, so that's just a little pile of all the same thing. Okay. So here's a couple of, I do like this. We cut this down the last time we showed this out of this, this was cut off of a bigger piece. Mm, this may make a little art card. I probably won't use that, but I can't keep everything. I'm telling y'all. I cannot keep everything. I People go, oh, you threw that little, you're going to put that on an art card or ATC. And then, you know, I'm just, look, look how much I got, guys. Look, I mean, it's just not happening. Right? It's just not happening. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put a couple pieces of tape on that and put it here. Just eyeball it. And I can go back in here and add some more waterfalls, you know, turn this into space back there, put some kind of other focal point here or, or the uh, hands of time coming off of there. All right, let's see what else we got here. This was out of a 2011 journal. I recognize this. 2011 here. This was 2011. 
This was in my slideshow. I do like this one. Another one. This was 2013. <clears throat> so some of these I recognize from um, I recognize from those old art journals. Like I like this. But this could go. This could go. Let's take our let's take our viewfinder. Make some room. <clears throat> All right. I like this, the planets up there. But it kind of limits me on this one. Because if I want them all. Something like that maybe. So then what I do is I just take a pen or a pencil, depending on the color of the thing here, and uh, kind of just just map it out a little. And, you know, most of the time I'll take my cutter. I'm probably not going to do this. I'll use my scissors today because it's a lot quicker and easier. But I'll take my cutter and uh, cut down. And I cut that off. Let's see, where did I have it? I want to kind of try to be true to where I had picked it. <clears throat> and see, I like that too. But I'm not sure about that, but we'll keep that. This, maybe, this, this could be something like, maybe a little bit less. Little off the side. Little off the side here. So, not sure this needs a little bit because you know I could cut this down and make this actually into two things but uh, here we go same thing I'm not going to use that one right now I'll put this one on a card you see how that makes it look more focused if you will Okay, keep, let's keep moving. Are y'all getting inspired to get out small journals and, and cut them up? <laughs> All right, so let me just kind of quickly go through some of these here. Um, I do like this. This is an older one, too, probably from 2012. I like the... I really like this one, but it would have to take quite a bit of work, which not that I mind, but um, this one I did for, um, we did a uh, thing for one of the girls and turned her into this girl. So that, that was an in, individual project <clears throat> like that one. This was a cover off of something. I really like that one too. Um, that one see again this one could be something see see what a difference it makes when you view find it don't y'all think that makes such a difference I'm just gonna make a little mark It's just easier on these that are, are thick with a couple of layers of stuff. It's easier for me just to whip this out. Oops, I need to move it over just a little bit. Where's my other mark? Somewhere around there. Let's see. Right. 
And this looks pretty cool. I'll keep that. I like that. This goes in the trash. Okay. Piece of cloth stock. I am eyeballing it at a slant too, so. <clears throat> Let's see, people are asking why you deconstruct your journals. Because when I do, when, and I think it's true with all of us, you make a piece, you make a piece in your art journal, and you may not like it all. Now, this one, this was part of some, another project there. This one is finished. This was, uh, uh, this one was from 2011, and it was on my um, Ustream slideshow. And I'm going to keep it because it was a finished piece on Ustream. But um, same for this one. That's from, I think, 2000. And I'm not sure back when. But I'm I, hang on. Let me get to something that I don't like. Okay, so here. So I'm playing in my art journal, and I make this, okay? Well, now I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it anymore, you know? And I'm sure you have journals and, and uh, that you don't like anymore. You're not going to do anything with. And you know if you cut it down, you'll be able to make something with it where you're never going to use this. I mean, it's nice to have like a record of what you were like 10, 15 years ago or what you were doing and you like certain parts of it and you don't like it. But, um, you know, if you can cut it down, if you can cut it down and make it something that you are going to like, then why not? Why not cut it down? See, look. See how much better that is? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Got the little people right behind the bird doing something back there, painting, or he's painting her. He's painting a picture of her in the background. And um, you got the bird in focus there with the circles. Maybe a little bit more of that half moon showing down at the bottom there. Maybe right about there. You can move it around till you find exactly where you want it. You know? The one with the planets in the sky is cool. Well, they all have planets in the sky. I don't know which one. You mean these leftovers? I don't know which one, Christopher, because almost most of my stuff have planets in the sky. But you see what I'm talking about? So let's just look at this for a minute. Just look at this one for a minute. All right? I'm going to... Because now you're going to forget what was there before. Okay. So let's such as to say we cut, we want to cut it down to this. Let's not quite cut the little girl out there. She's in the background. Let's kind of level this up. Kind of level this up a little. Let me get a little pen here. Just so I know where to cut. Okay. And the bird right there. All right, so I'm just going to let you look at this for just a second. And this is why we cut these up. All right, <laughs> and then I'm going to cut it. But I want to show you just for a minute. Just just kind of just gaze at it for a minute. Bye, Rachel. Okay, thanks for coming in. <laughs> All right, so you see, look, there's a little artist back there painting her. And the bird's in the front. He's, you know, he's the main thing. And what's he thinking? You know, has he got something to do with? anything you know you can make up your story in your head and you got those three little planets there you got some mist and again when i go to work on this again i would add more stuff or more mixed media you know you could paint out the back you can make this space you can make it leave the trees you can get rid of some of this you can make these trees you paint over it okay now ready what do you do with the chosen pieces I, i'm that's what i'm doing right now joe i'm showing you I cut them down and then I turn them into finished pieces like the ones I showed earlier. You weren't here. Like here's one of William Shatner. <laughs> I turn them into finished pieces like this one. This one is posted. This one's finished and this one's turned. Uh, it's a finished piece and it's on IG as is uh, that other little city on the hill one. Where is it? that I have finished here. Yes, this one's a finished one. OK, 
Okay, so I go back and rework them. All right, so now, now that you've had a second to look at this, <laughs> exactly, Terry, it makes you see different. Now look at that. Now look, look at the difference. See how much better it is crop down? <clears throat> hey, Hopster, you're going to bring in some books after a while? What you've been reading or something? Okay. You're watching uh, Secrets of the Zoo. Secrets of the Zoo. Well, that's something nice to do on your day off. Well, it was really cute because uh, they had a tortoise, an Indian tortoise. Uh huh. It was really active. And all of a sudden, he just stopped, didn't, didn't do anything. I am actually. So they took him in, they examined him, they x-rayed him, they took him out, and figured out that he was constipated. <laughs> a constipated tortoise. tortoise. <laughs> so they gave him some medicine and uh, went to the restroom. Then there was a couple of babies that were born. And they had to do some uh, things on some links. So really. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. A constipated tortoise. How old was he? 200 years old? No, he was a small one like this. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're saying hi to you <laughs> um, <laughs> what did you do on your day off oh i watched some uh information on uh constipated tortoises <laughs> i love you honey <laughs> okay let's see um okay i think that's there we go all right so there you go so now I can work work this and turn it into a full-on finished piece. You see the difference it made, though, by being cut down? <laughs> um, no, I don't put them in a journal. I keep them in a portfolio. Uh, you know, right now they're just in these, uh, you know, uh, cardboard folders-like that I keep them in, like this one here. Hang on. You'll have to go back and watch from the beginning, guys. If you just got here, you're not going to understand what's going on. <laughs> You've not heard me talk about it before. Okay, so let's move this. Let's just keep let's keep going through here a few more here. Let's see what we got. That one's okay. But, you know, there's just uh, it's just parts of journals and stuff that they're okay in their time. You know, in their time, I, I I was doing something with these. There's another one of those green leaf things that needs to go with those other green leaves. And some of those little pieces I know I will never use. I should just throw away. <clears throat> this one's cut down from uh, something. Let's see. That one. Um, this was doing, I was doing something about the birth of time with eggs and watches. That one's already been cut down from this. This, this one's been cut down. So let's just go through them quickly. Some of, some of these you can see I've already cut down somewhat. But I'm going to go through and, uh, and I don't use people in them very often. Because I want you to be the person in it. But some of these older ladies that were in a fashion magazine some years ago, I really liked them. And I gave them like wispy hair and different things. And she was she was one of them. Simona, who's my muse. <clears throat> See, I like I like that. I, I don't know who this model is, but she to me is the prettiest woman alive. I think she's stunning. I don't know who she is. Back when, you know, she was in a, in, in a magazine years ago. And there's a whole bunch of pictures of her. And uh, she's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Oh, here she is again. Just think she's gorgeous. They're just all different kind of bits and pieces. I'm not seeing here some stencils. These were some stencil words that we did some project with, right, at the time. This one I really like, too. And you can, can you see all the little numbers floating? So you got all the watch hands and the numbers all floating here. I really love this one. I don't, maybe I should pull that. 
because I really like it. I mean, I can trim it down a little, but I really like the overall scene. Maybe I'll pull that one. Okay, this was a cover. This was a cover. This one I had a print made. I have this one still framed and hanging up in my house. That's from 2012. I still love that one. Here's another one of those older ladies that I'm talking about that I painted out. I love her. Oh, let's see. This one I posted a few years ago. This one's been posted. This one was... What one was this one? I didn't name that one, but I love this one too. This one I titled All the Marbles. <laughs> All the Marbles. <laughs> I love that. It's from 2011. So um, I really like that. was one from my Ustream days. I'll pull him. I like that one. Let's see. This one too. This one was Me and My Shadow. I called that one Me and My Shadow. 2013. Here's some deconstructed, deconstructed journals. There's the Whirling Dervishes. My husband calls me the Whirling Dervish. Let's see. This one, this one was, I called Still Life, 2011. See, some of these I haven't deconstructed. I still like them. Forest of Time. And again, you know, these are more titles for me. I usually do not post titles to my stuff openly, you know. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this one I like too. I called that one Seed of Life. That's blood platelets right there. Blood platelets, Seed of Life 2011. This was 2011. City on a Hill 2011. <clears throat> Descent and Ascent. So, yeah, some of these I did name, I named them for myself. All right. I like that little piece right there. Almost to the almost to the bottom of this pile. But you see how you can something could be, you know, I like it at the time, and I was just, you know, a lot of it we did on stream and just threw stuff on it, see what we could come up with, and then later you can go back and find um, something else in it, you know? So don't be afraid. Did y'all see the horse with Sunny's? Yes, Shaz. <laughs> yeah, I like all the morals. This was one of my favorites that year. 2011, I got to admit, Christopher, this was one of my favorites in 2011 that I did the whole year. I love this piece. <laughs> so you see though now you just sit there and stare at it for a minute it almost could be an undersea you know like um you know you could see it also as an aquarium with the little fish you know the little uh castles and things you'd put in fish tanks but if it was what if that was uh like a sunken city you know like the, an atlantis type thing you know there's lots of things i can do with this fish mermaids you know and it's much better than that in my opinion <clears throat> so these are just pieces that are left over from journals some like i said some that i've already cut down and some that are just here's some old jelly plated jelly plated stick oh no 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 gotta get down baby can't walk across my keyboard they couldn't get up over here, so they started up over on that side. Um, I like this. Oh, this is another one of the blood plate lists. That, that was Axis. Okay, so anyway, so these are some that I've already taken out of journals and just have them in here. I will never run out of will never run out of stories to tell or worlds to build, right? So this is just, I put them in this little thing so that they're handy. They're on my shelf, ready to pull. These are some little pieces of the same thing. I, I don't really need all these little pieces, but I'm going to set them in here for right now so I don't have to go through them at this moment. And then I just put these 
bands on them to kind of hold them hold them shut because I like and that's another reason like all my society of idea my collect uh, you know my idea collecting notebooks are usually in three ring binders because they're removable I can take them out move them around shuffle them re re categorize my ideas same thing for the when I have them like this it's so much easier to work with rather than in a journal but I love my journals y'all know I just said I got 90 feet of them in here all right so let's pull a couple so this one I pulled, this one was that, um, and y'all have to help me remember, Ranger. Okay, it was a Ranger. Um, some of who, some of who made the journals. I don't know if it's Diane Reevely or who made this one with the canvas. This is from 2018. So this one had all these canvas pieces in it, and I never liked this journal. I don't like, I don't even like painting on them. I don't even know. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like these burlap pieces in a journal. I don't, nobody email me. I'm sure that you, somebody out there has, you know, uses for them. But what I did, I said, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this journal. So I'm going to make backgrounds for papers to do digitally. And then I can, and, and Colleen did some awesome, uh, she, I haven't seen her here yet today, but Colleen did some awesome background papers and we were all telling you do those turn them digitally you know and um so whether she will or not i don't know but this book back from 2018 was my was one of my purposes of this journal was to make these background papers to scan well i don't scan anything i photograph it and then print them out and uh, make digi papers with them and then put and or put them in Procreate. So I can take a photograph of this, move it right into Procreate to use as a background. Does that make sense to anybody that does? Well, if you do Digi, you do. I'm sorry, a little ASMR water bottle crunch. I'm pouring some in my, in my, uh, my lemon water here. So let me see what's going on in chat. Hi, Kathleen. So, I need to cut these out so that I can photograph them easier. You know, this is the cover. Put this little heart on there. There's my handprint on there. But it's sitting in 90 feet of other journals. I am not using it. If I cut them out and put them in my, those little portfolio type things that I have that are handy that I pull out more often to use, I will use them. I will photograph them, throw them in Procreate, and do something with them as backgrounds. Whereas if they're in this book, I don't know. You know, at least I should cut out a couple just to remind me that I have this book. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me get my uh, box cutter <laughs> and uh, at least cut out a couple so that I will know... And, and I, I think I did the same on two pages, pretty much. I kind of ignored the burlap. I don't, 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 I don't like the burlap. So this is a good one here. So I'm going to just cut this out here. Doesn't have to be, you know, ruler ready, Janet, because, you know, when you, uh, and this is kind of a thick kind of canvassy type, kind of a canvassy type paper. Uh, do you why not photograph rather than scan? Uh, because it's easier, Shaz. I do my phone. You, if you have an iPhone or a, you know any kind of phone these days, your camera on that phone <laughs> is, I mean, it's super excellent. Uh, I can do better with a photo of my work than I can a scan on my printer. You know, it's just much better. So plus, and I can, um, I can manipulate it in the photo um, here. Let's, I'll, I'll do here. Let me do one real quick. Let's do one real quick. Here. Although the background here looks just like the paper. Hang on. Hang on. Let me grab a picture and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. Well, I'm sure y'all know this. I mean, don't email me going, hey, y'all think I'm stupid? No, no, I don't. But when somebody asks a question, then I try to accommodate. All right. So I'm going to zoom in on this. Okay, so now let me go over to my photos and go to the photo. All right, so here we go. So here's the photo that I just took. Right now, it already looks better. Look, it already looks better than this, right? So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to edit. I'll crop it down. 
I'll crop it down to whatever I want it to be, maybe a little off that side, maybe, you know, you know, you don't have to crop it, but I will. So then I'll crop it. And this is just in your phone program. You can, I've got, you know, let me see, tell you some of the ones I got. I got photo editor. I've got, um, uh, where are they all? Cause I don't use them that much. I have Adobe draw. I have a uh, sketch program. I've got, what other ones do I have? Anyway, I've got a whole bunch of different photo programs. This is just the basic photo editor that comes with the phone. So let's go back here. All right, so now I'm going to go back over here and I'll click on here. Janet, are you watching? <laughs> I always tease Janet on her photos that she posts on Instagram. Janet, send it to me first and let me fix that for you. Because it's not that she doesn't know how, she doesn't take the time. All right, so now I'm going to get, hit, hit, click at it again. And, and you can do exposure and you can just, you can start playing just with the exposure, right? There's the exposure. Then you got brilliance. You can change the brilliance. Now this, if I go higher in brilliance, you're going to start seeing, you might not see it here, but you can start seeing the texture of the canvas. The texture of the canvas is starting to come out there. Then we got our highlights. You can go highlight, low light. I hope y'all can see some of this adjusting. There's shadows. You can take or remove, add shadows. Contrast, really can tell on contrast. I don't, I don't like contrast too much. It changes, the, it changes stuff too drastically. Uh, brightness, brighter, darker, brighter, darker. Maybe add a little more dark to it. Black point, which adds the black more dramatic black then you've got your saturation there you've gone on to neon all the way down to practically no color at all so I, i'm just i just look i eyeball it and just see what i like then you can do vibrance and almost all your phone programs are going to have this type of stuff maybe not exactly you got warmth where you can get a get turn it from blue to yellow um you know from gold from cold to warm okay then you've got tint. You can tint it different colors. And you can do this with any photo. Photo. Then you got your sharpness. You can get the sharpness. And then let's see what else. You got definition. You got noise reduction. You got, you know, and then there's other programs down, you know, more that you can even do. Usually I find that that's plenty for um, what I want to do. So I've taken this. Okay. And here we go. Now I can move this into Procreate. And then I can add other photos on top of it. I can work on it. I can take my pen and draw on it in Procreate, you know, the, the photo, um, you know, Procreate in the iPad. And uh, draw on top of it, sketch on top of it, add photos on top of it, whatever I want to do. But look, so from that, I've got that. You see, so this is what we were. Well, I don't remember how much conversation I had with Colleen on it, but a couple other people were telling her last week too. Colleen, do your papers digitally. So I don't know if she will or she's paying attention. Do I have a favorite type or brand of journal that you and that you don't recommend? Um, well, I don't like this one because I, I think I don't like the burlap in there. It's a waste to me. This is canvassy. It's like flattened. It's like canvas. It's like canvas, which I, I painted every page in here, I think. I painted every page <laughs> to use like this. This was my purpose right here. So I'm only going to cut one out now just to remind me of this book because this whole book is that. The whole book, I mean, really, truly, I would like to just cut all this out all these burlap pages and stuff out of it. I just don't, I don't, don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with this. So this would be one that I would not buy again. I would not buy this book again at my, this stage of my life because I don't know what to do with it. But there's a few, this is, we did something with the Jane Davenport thing and there's some of my hand carved bee stamps. So we did a couple little projects in it. But uh, as you can see, these are basically all backgrounds to do to for me to use in Procreate. That was another Jane Davenport thing we did. <clears throat> so 
there's a couple things in here but like this i love this i love these colors this is going to be an awesome one and i probably have it in my phone i have over fourteen thousand pictures in this phone and I used to, and I mean, I cloud them. So they are clouded. So if something happened to my phone, they are in the cloud. I pay extra to have to have them on the cloud um, because I have so many pictures. If something happened to Instagram or Facebook and my phone, I have them all clouded, you know. Okay. So that was this journal from 2000, what I say, 18. And I just did a little nebulization. I drew a little nebula in here. Uh, intro page before I started these. So I'll keep this out. I'll put it in one of my portfolios over here. Just remind me. You got all those, uh, you got all those nice pages to use. All right. So let's see. Yeah, that journal too. And I was wondering the same thing. Yeah, I don't, I would not buy this again. I mean, again, somebody might have all kinds of ideas for that burlap and canvas pages. I don't. All right. But that was, I don't even, that was just handy why I started. So just to be clear why I have so many journals this year, and I would say half of last year into, well, I added dates that go back a little further, but these are the journal, these are my, these are my current idea generating notebooks. This is what I'm using right now. Okay. This one right here, particularly, I started in January. I started this one in January. I collect ideas. I collect notes, sketches, doodles, and, and ideas. And, you know, this, this right here, this is since just since 2023. Okay. So this is my current idea collecting notebook. This was partly last year. And it had some, still had some blank pages in it. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and continue in this one. <clears throat> this is left over from last year. I deconstructed it. This was in one of those other ones I just showed you, one of the bigger ones. This was all I wanted to keep out of that. Well, keep handy, I should say. I didn't throw away the rest of it, but I. this is all I wanted to be reminded of because it had my Barbie, it had my zines, it had the things that we were doing last year that I wanted to continue this over. There you can see there's all the different things that are, that are um, also um, page numbered. Now, the page numbers don't matter so much. <laughs> well, they still kind of do. But because I took it out of the middle of the book. Hi, Linda Rands. <laughs> what did cut and paste say? Aunt cropped. What did she say? Crop people's heads off to fit her wallet. Oh, my gosh, CMP. So this was last year's book. And uh, this was what I wanted to continue carrying over from last year to this year because it's got a lot of my barbie stuff in it because y'all know i started doing barbie photography last year i've done probably over 50 now this is when we did the um uh mother goose zine swap so just to show you this is how i think about stuff so we had the mother goose zine swap that J i think you hosted it right janet or did i host it i don't remember i think janet did so um so we made a zine. So I did not, you know, I wanted to do my research. So these are all excerpts from different fairy tales. Itsy Bitsy Spider, Hickory Dickory Dog, Hey Diddle Diddle, Jack Be Nimble, Humpty Dumpty. So I wrote them out and I ended up doing Little Miss Muffet. This was my, <laughs> this was my zine. I think there might even be more pages here. Yeah, here's Little Miss Muffet. So I wrote some more notes and there's, here's some little Miss Muffet vintage book pages. See, I love to collect ideas, people. <laughs> Just, it's one of my, it's one of my things. One of my things. So um, this was my, um, this was a zine that I made from um, the, that swap, Little Miss, and I used Little Miss Muffet. Of course, I incorporated my Barbie, <laughs> my Barbie photography into it. So we did Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. 
and she's running for her life. And um, in the original one, there's a cat in there too. There's a cat running with her, but I didn't, that didn't seem to be matter to the, <laughs> to the story. So the cat didn't make it into the zine, but there's her hat flying off. So, <laughs> so that was, um, you know, and then back over into Barbie. Let me see. Do I have the Barbie tab still in? Yes, here we go. So these are all my Barbie photography ideas. And I've done, I've done a lot of them. I've done, um, I think over, these are, I've checked them off. These are, and there's more since this. I haven't written them in here, but I did the wedding. I did, um, No, I want to do a wedding proposal. That's not checked off. I've not checked off movie night. The tree farm with Janet in the truck. Janet, Robert, these were some of from Christmas. Janet and Arlene in her wheelchair. Um, group Christmas. I love you, my cloud Malibu. The me Barbie with the bird. The nutcracker. The baker Barbie Christmas with uh, the baker Barbie. Sewing Barbie, which was uh, supposed to be um, Aunt Beck, Wednesday Adams Barbie, um, the Dolls in the Pumpkin Patch, Garden Barbie, Pepper paint, the Barbie painting the peppers in the garden, the Fourth of July, the Shoe Barbie, the Garden Harvest, the Playing Chess, the Book Club, the Cat Broadcasting um, um, Shirt. She had that cat broadcasting shirt. On. My cloud hurting cats, raining cats and dogs. Janet's red pants. Peter Piper. Denise with and the Barbie with the Bob Ross. Frankenstein bride Barbie. Um, the rug um, meditating Barbie. She's meditating on, or she's making the rug for meditation. The starlight Barbie. The bee cape. The Grogu. The picnic. The pirate. The Cynthia book nook. Um, the fall leaves and the fall book club. And then I have not gone for, further from that, but there's more. I've done more than that. I think I'm pretty much up to 50, 50 Barbie photographies now. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, the reason I pulled all this out because there's still stuff in here from last year that I want to continue into this year. So there's that. Then this one, what did I pull this one for? Um, oh, this one has other notes from, when did I start? Because Oh, I wanted to make sure I kept, I don't want my phone number showing. Nobody call me. <laughs> so I wanted, this was starting, I started collecting some of my hand carved stamps and other stamps in here. So there's all kinds of notes in here. There's just notes in here that I want. There's not a lot of drawing in here. This is mostly draw uh, notes, color ideas, mind mapping, and stuff like that in this one that I want to deconstruct in a different way which means i'll pull out the information in this that i want and either rewrite it or just you know just keep it okay so back to the art journaling ones so there's this one that pecola wondered what happened to a while back she goes whatever happened to your hand paint your hand red hand journal this is from 2019. Well, I looked on the shelf at the time. I think it was Bacola that asked. And I looked at the shelf at the time, and I did not rec recognize this as the red journal when I saw it on the shelf. But this last weekend, when I was pulling a bunch of journals to deconstruct, let's brighten this back up a little. When I was deconstructing, uh, looking for journals to deconstruct, this one, I found it. I came across this one. So let's see. Hi, Barbie. Who else? I know I'm missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Hi, sister. <laughs> Good morning. Waving. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, I don't, I, if I missed you, I'm not meaning to. <clears throat> All right. 2019. So this started off as a... All right. How I started this one. I went through, the, and, I, and I do this with my journals. I want to have something on every page. A splatter, a smash, a smear, a, a glue down, a smack down. I like my pages to be already dirty so that I am not intimidated by my art journals. They will, if I want to do a finished piece, you know, like if I'm doing portraits, or, you know, my pet portraits, my people portraits, or if I want to do, you know, a collage from scratch, I'll just pull a nice big sheet of paper out, you know, in one of my 
one of my books here, like my mixed media paper here, or watercolor paper, or what other papers do I have sitting right here? You know, I got watercolor paper, I got different sketchbooks, I got my Bristol. So if I just need a, you know, I just want a nice page of Bristol, you know, paper, or paper, you know, nice, smooth, I want to do a pen and ink. So if I want to do something like that, I'll pull out a, a specific paper um, for to to work a to work a full piece on. Hi, Devin. This I went through, and from what I remember, let me see. Do I have a date in here? I don't see a date. I went through and smack and drag. So I think this was a start with a smack and drag. If y'all don't know what a smack and drag is, do y'all want to see a quick smack and drag? Do I have my? Where's my? Oh no, I don't have my big pink. I don't have my big pink, what do you call it? I'll do a small smack and drag. Yeah. I'll do a miniature version. <laughs> I'll do a miniature version. All right, let's see. Do I have a little piece of plastic anywhere? Here we go. Is anyone that a piece of plastic? Okay. I'll do a, all right, imagine, here's a piece of plastic. Imagine this is my big quilt. Um, she knocked over my, knocked over my, uh, Mona Lisa here, baby. I'm knocking over my stuff. Let's put her over there out of your way. Okay, let's put her there out of your way. Um, imagine the big pink piece of plastic and uh, uh, instead of this, but I'll show you what we'll, we'll do. Let's get a piece of paper here. Get a piece of stock here. Okay, let's get another piece. I need, I need a piece of this paper, Malibu, that you're sitting on. Let me pull it out from under your little fat body all right <clears throat> let me get a couple colors let's see let's get a pink in some of these some of these are probably uh almost empty i'll just get a pink and green just to show you all right so this is what smack and dragon is and that's what i did with this whole book but so but i did it on a big piece of plastic you know quilt thing and then i just put down I put down some ink, spray inks, or I, I think most of them are spray inks. Some of them might be a couple other things. Okay, put down a couple colors, get a little water, add a little water. And then what I did is I took my book, I took my book, flipped it over, and went smack and drag. Smack and drag. And I did this, but bigger. In the book so I have this whole book has got some kind of inks and something as a base okay let's clean this off here <clears throat> and then also if you do something like the smack and dragon you can take your collage bit and nowadays everybody's calling it is it mood boards? What are they calling it? Storyboards, mood boards, or call it something. Where they, they put all their stuff on a big sheet of paper, glue everything down and cut it up. Well, we used to just call it <laughs> just cutting it down. We would cut them down. But anyway, um, then you can just take different things. Um, let me just find something here. Let me go into my... This is what I was using for my little fairy houses and different things. But you can, if you want to make art cards, if you want to make art cards, um, does anybody know, what are they calling that these days? Uh, Devin, what do they call, hi Big uh, Flow Raj, you know when they're making the big ones of these, and then they cut them down, there's the master board, thank you, they're calling it master board now, I don't know what we used to call it, but you can glue different things down. And then after it's all glued down, you can splatter some more. You can do all kinds. Of, and then you cut these down and you can make all kinds of art cards because you'll have the little base already ready, right? So then you cut these down and make art cards out of them. Well, anyway, there's that little sidebar. <laughs> all right. So I think in this case, some like this is Smack and Dragon. I can tell that's a Smack and Dragon. Um, and then I went back in with collage. Well, this is one of those books that I could easily just take apart, deconstruct this whole thing. But what I wanted to show you is that's why we made the little, uh, I pulled out um, a little uh, uh, thing to uh, viewfinder. 
So you can go through, you can go through and see what you like and cut down. Whether you make art cards, ATCs, finished collages, whatever you're making with it. Look, see how much more purposeful that seems than that? But I had to have this to get to that. <laughs> Hi, Preppy Crafty Girl Jonna. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I saw Preppy Crafty Girl Jonna has some new, a um, couple of videos posted over the weekend. So again, you know, look, it looks like a hot mess, but I know that there's something in here. I know it. So yeah, I just have to find it. <laughs> I just have to go find it, right? <laughs> look, almost looks like a heart and a pyramid. <clears throat> so when I do this kind of thing, it does not bother me at all to go in and cut this up. Now, you know, I probably won't use, you know, Klimt's Golden Girl, you know. But, um, you know, maybe just a little edge of the butterfly, maybe a little of that water. So now we've got an island, water, and butterfly and sky. See? <laughs> See how you've already got a little scene set? You got the water, the island, the sky, and the butterfly. But you don't have, well, you, you sort of have it, but, you know, you focus it. You focus it. <clears throat> so yeah and you just don't know you just don't know until you you know there's a little guy in his boat with a big paddle like one of those Japanese uh, boats with the paddle those big long paddles because he has one of those little hats on look <clears throat> I hope y'all are seeing something out of all this Hope you're getting some bravery. Hope you're getting some bravery to go in and cut down, you know, some of your stuff. So you look right about, right about. And y'all are probably going, wait, stop, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> See? <laughs> uh. <laughs> And then I could go take, I mean, I could turn, I get, all I have to do is grab me a, a mermaid or grab me a, a little, you know, or draw a little, hang on, let's get a little, let's get a Sharpie so it shows up for you. You know, just draw a little, just draw a couple little people here on the hill. You know, you just, you just, it just doesn't take much. Let's see. It does make a difference, doesn't it, Jonna? You know? Mm. Okay, so. Oh. I don't know. This, I, I almost could see a jellyfish. I was going to say a UFO, but I think this could be, you know, this could be a jellyfish. And, of course, I would do it more. Mark, mark making more meaningful, but just so you can kind of get the idea, you know. You can see all kinds of things in your work. <laughs> uh, but just all you have to do is just move it around. There's an arch right there. So there's going to be an arch right here, and you can look through the arch out the out the arch like out, out the window, you know. <clears throat> I hope this is interesting to somebody. So there's different pieces here that I haven't glued down. Um. <laughs> oh, now this one we did work on on stream. We did this B. I think this is the only actual finished piece in here. This B piece with the wings dripping off water there and what else do we have we got some uh, octopi tentacles just some random things going on here here's one that could probably be look oh my gosh i love that we're just gonna we're gonna just sit on that for a minute your character book of faces journal handy look um yeah 
it's really, you know, those aren't finished faces. And, and I've had people go, oh, those, you know, they're, they're not supposed to be finished faces. They're supposed to be five second faces, literally five second faces where you take and you draw, you know, you draw a face, cheeks, cheeks, chin, mouth. And then you, you literally draw a face in five seconds. And, um, and it's, I have a whole book of those. And it's called, it's called my face book. <laughs> and people go, well, those don't look right. They don't look real. They don't look, hey, honey, how you doing? Want you a little helper? Well, she was napping. I'm going to run down half of a okay. couple minutes. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right. See you in a few minutes or a little bit. Guys and girls. I'm out of it. All right. I'll check him out. Okay. Oh, thank you. And so, um, I have a whole book of these is what cat and paste is talking about is uh, my face book, <laughs> five second faces. But anyway, so, but look at that. Look at that. I love that. Just got to kind of play around. I do too, Jen. All right, so there's just all kinds of smack and dragon in here. So that's what this book was. And I started doing some gluing. This is some of my deli paint, jelly plated deli papers. But make yourself a viewfinder. If you don't want to cut things out, then at least make you a viewfinder and go look through your journals that you might have backgrounds. You don't know what they could be, what you might like them to be, what the, what the possibilities are and just go. And you can do this. You can do this for just outside. Look, through, look at the trees, look at your flowers, look at your flower garden, look at your vegetable garden. I would make it, I'd put it on card, you know, I'd make it on cardboard because this is kind of floppy. If you're going to take it outside. There's an angel's um, let's see. Uh, this one I started working on. We started this on a stream. I remember it because I was going to make these. And so just so you can see, this is some newel post. I think that not. No, not the newel post. The, the stair, you know, the post on stairs. The newel post is the main one. The main right. These are just other posts on the stairs. But look when you do it sideways, how it looks like they look like actual stairs. But they're the stair rails. They're the stair rails. But when you turn them on their side, you see how they look like stairs? But those are the actually the rails. Banisters. Yeah, the banisters. Thank you, Carol. The banisters. And uh, so, but sideways, they look like um, stairs. So, yeah. Let's see, just you know, just play with it. I kind of like that right there. I know it's cool, right, Devin? So, Devin, I know you have these kind of journals. Devin, you have these kind of journals too. You missed the beginning, I showed all the cut up ones, Devin. <laughs> So, yeah, we got just a few things in this one. And then I skipped some pages. And then, because I like to go through the book. I like to have all, something on all the pages. But especially in any kind of a hardback book, maybe I should pull a couple of the magazine journals, too, to show you. Because those could be cut up as well. Maybe I should show those. Um, but you want to do some in the front, some in the back, some in the middle. Because it will warp. It'll warp your spine and it will, um, if you just work front to back. So let's look here. So you can just move it around and see different things. I mean, from, you know, a full piece to art cards. These look like squids. They look like squids to me. Um, can you watch? Okay, hi, more fabrics. And and by the way, guys, um, Selena's got some um, uh, junk journal kits up on her uh, YouTube 
uh, well, go to our YouTube channel first so you can see what she's, she does flips of them and stuff and talks about what she's got available and then go to our Etsy shop. So thanks for popping in Selena while you're canning. Uh, let's see. Who else am I missing? Did I, I mean, I've been talking to CB, but I don't know if I actually said hi to you, CB. <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of just taking a minute to just to use the viewfinder to go through these rather than taking the time to cut each one out right now because that's going to take more time. But um, you've seen some of the ones I've cut. Just I just want you all to know about the process. And uh, I, I'm going to cut this. I want to cut this one down. <clears throat> Because it's just like, I don't know. I'm not, I don't use it unless it's cut down. See? Look at that. What do y'all think? So we might be cutting into this one here in a minute. I'm going to just, I pulled a whole bunch of them to show you first. To show them to you first and then we'll cut down. <clears throat> Like that, right there, maybe down. Uh, drawing some and editing some Fourth of July drawings. Okay, all right, well. Okay, get your tea, Pacola. So I hope y'all are getting some um, new perspective on some of your backgrounds that you have going on in your junk journals or your smack and dragon, uh, you know, or what you can use them for, like them. Look, that would make a cool looking bookmark. I just, I don't know. I, I see stuff in all of them and even the simplest ones like this. That's a whole, that's a whole sailboat right there. And then some just have some quick little, Pieces of paper tacked down, ready to collage into. Oh, let's see. This. I love these colors. I love this whole thing. <clears throat> like this one, too. I love these colors. Um, You can make amazing. Yes, tags, art cards, ATCs. All of the above. <laughs> CB has a tornado in one of them. <laughs> she saw, but uh, yeah. But again, after you after you cut this down, let's see. Maybe I should take this one out. Let's, see this one. let's cut this one. Out. Let's do one here. So this is what I mean by just deconstructing. I'm just taking the whole book apart. All right. So let me go in here. Let's do this. Do this, see what I want. And again, I just have a either a black or a white, depending on what the colors are, which will work better. And let me just look at it for a second. I like that. I like a little bit of this little roof or something showing over there. Do I want it bigger? Right about. I think I like that. I think I like that. Right about there. Shh, shh, shh. Somewhere around there. Okay, then I'll get out my... And I like to use a paper cutter because you're going to get it squared up. If I use scissors, I'm not going to square it up as easily, you know. <clears throat> I'm just eyeballing it here. It could be over just a little more. And then how did I how much did I have down here? Okay, let's see. And then I take it and put it on a piece of white paper. Tape, just some double-sided tape. Because when you do this, it makes it more focused, if you will. If you put it on a piece of white paper like that. It's fun to do, right, Debbie? Yeah. And then you can take, now some of these I might, if I was doing more art cards these days, I might 
keep these two. I won't keep all this because I just don't have, y'all know, I got a hundred plastic envelopes of collage fodder. All right, so then you can take, let me just pick a sticker book just for a quick, because otherwise I'll be digging through collage. Well, let's, you know what, well, I'll, I'll do one really easy thing and then we'll get a sticker book for something a little more. What do I have in here? We can do, I'll do a couple different things here. All right, let's pick this, this, and a sticker book. So we'll have a variety. Let's see, the antiquarian. I kind of like, let me go back here to one of these. Hang on, I'm digging. All right. All right. All right, so you have, let's just say you have your bunch of collage stuff here. So you can do anything from the Tim Holtz people. <laughs> you got your Timmy people. We got our Timmy people could be sitting right there. <laughs> We could punch a planet. So wait a minute. Let me get my. Punches are good, especially when you have. Let me find something here. I want to write all this down because I, I you know, just got to write it all down. All right, I'm going to pick an art magazine here. Pick an art magazine. And I got me a punch. You don't have to have a punch. I'm going to flip through here and find some colors. I'm going to try to pick by color here. I don't want it to be based on any uh, image, just patterns. And I may not find anything in this particular one. I just have to flip and see. I was going to try to find something kind of quick, but maybe not. Okay. Mm, not quite perfect enough color-wise. I might have to get drag another magazine out. Hang on. I'm trying to find something that I like to go with this. So I'm flipping through. I'm looking at colors. I'm looking at colors here. That would almost work. The brown might work, maybe. I'm going to cut some off here. Hang on. I can't get to it. And this may or may not work. I may or may not like it. See, it's not, it's not, it's too dark. It's too dark. It needs, I really want that red. I'm really looking for something that kind of red with a pattern in it. Let me find another magazine. Hang on, hang on. We got more magazines to pick from. Let's get the summer set. They have something. All I know we like to cut these down and make them into mini magazines. All right, so what I want to do, creativity and process. Yellow would work too. I just kind of want to show you the idea. <clears throat> Maybe yellow would be better. This would be good. Let's try this. It's better. It's not. Per it's not exactly what I want. I really need some yellow in there. But I, all right, I, y'all get the idea. The, I'm trying to show the idea, not trying to make a finished piece. But uh, I'm just thinking something yellow up here or maybe up there. Maybe over like right there. So 
you can take your things like your Tim Holtz little people and Tim Holtz, you know, has got tons of this kind of stuff, collage fodder stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Amor Fabric. Did you get your last, did you get your sticker I sent you? I'm hoping I had your address right. I just took the address off your box. <laughs> Selena, did you get your stickers I sent you out last week? Oh, thank you. I'll send you another sticker if you'd like. You just have to tell me what, you know, I can flip through them. I've been sending out uh, stickers to people that super chat. Did you get your last uh, stickers? Like I said, I just used the address on the box or package. I think that's what the address, or maybe you sent me your address. I forget. I forget who sends me an address. You blessed me with the good. Okay, you got it. Okay. Aren't you? You're glad because, yeah, because you wanted one of the peace loss, right? <laughs> I told you you would like a peace loss. Thank you for supporting the channel, Celine. If you want, uh, if you want some more stickers, I need some more. You can use it for a giveaway. No need for. Okay, thanks. That's awesome, Selena. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And y'all go follow her now. Go over to More Fabrics um, YouTube channel, and um, also her um, Etsy shop where she's got more uh, fabrics and kits. That's why I buy all my fabrics, guys. My Sorry silks, my Cantha claw. I get them all from Selena, and uh, they're always awesome. And she gets them, and she hand cuts pallets full. She has a video where she shows her, you know, how she breaks down a pallet full of fabrics. <laughs> it's all, it's all awesome. So y'all go follow her over on her YouTube channel, and then you'll get information on her uh, deals when she has a daily deal. Oh, thanks. Some more fabrics. And I do have some. I've still got uh maybe we'll do a giveaway today with her some of her cantha cloths. Let me make a note of that. Because I have stuff for up uh, from her just for giveaways. Well, I mean I've pulled a couple for myself too, but you know. Where's my <clears throat> we'll do a fabric giveaway today? So we'll do that in a little bit, guys. All right, so let me keep rolling here till about maybe about eleven. Thank you, Selena. That's so sweet. All right. So are y'all getting an idea of how you've cut down some of your old art journals? You can take some collage things, whether you cut things, tear things, you got your Tim Holtz kind of guys, or you can do, um, all right, let's move this off here. So we're going to change, change direction. You can take, um, I want y'all to know, oh, look, this just fell out. Look at that. <laughs> I really like that little piece. Um, so you got your kind of books where you've got things to cut out and collage, which I have two new ones coming. Uh, supposed to be here Wednesday. And you also have your sticker books. you got stickers. So, you know, you, you can say, well, I can't draw. I can't paint. You can collage. You can make painty backgrounds. We all have made painty backgrounds. Don't you tell me you don't have any painty backgrounds. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Who else? Let's see. Uh, so I, yes, they are. They are gorgeous. Okay, so let's get back to finding some things here. All right, so now that we got this, and I'm just going to use this because we cut this one out and, you know, whatever. So, and I like to go, I like to base a lot of my, pieces on color um if i have three main colors you're going to be you're going to have a cohesive look regardless of what those three colors are and then you can have accent colors but you know whatever you're doing if you have in, in my color book pages too when i do color book pages i like to have and some i'll do monochromatic and other things you know or a big flower garden with 50 colors. But I like doing mono, I mean, I like doing keeping it to like three main colors, and your piece will always look cohesive. Look how cohesive that looks with just yellow, red, and blue. You know, it's got black, it's got a little tan, it's got a little other things, but the main colors that you see. So look, I could use this yellow fish. I'm just gonna flip through this. I just pulled um, the Atlantis sticker book. You could, you know, it could be a lot of different things. Um, you know, and we have a lot of different ones, but look, look at the, the stripes and that would be cool. You know, you could have it like coming out of this window. You could have this red fish. Um, do I like, I kind of like this one better. It has more red to it. 
Now, of course, once I stick a sticker down, you're, we're, you know, it's down. But I, and I don't, if I can, if I can't paint out the white sticker part, I cut it off. If I'm, if I'm doing a piece where I can paint, paint it out, then I'll paint it out. Or a combination of both. Now, I don't want this whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Let's just move this to the side a second. I think I'm going to cut it down just a little more. Don't be afraid to cut things up, turn things upside down, right side up. You know, don't be afraid to, you know, do those kind of things. Because you'll get, you know, you might think, well, I'll ruin the piece. Well, so you may. You might ruin it, but at the same time, you might come away with having something really cool. Okay. All right, so automatically, right now, the first thing that comes to my mind when I glued this down, I know it's not an eel, but remember the movie The Deep? How many of y'all remember the movie The Deep? This reminds me of the eel coming out of the doorway in the deep. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Now I need it instead of a little, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I could use a, a diver, you know, a, scu a skin dive, you know, the divers with the, all the equipment. It's not a scuba dive, skin diver. Uh, well, anyway, deep sea diver. <laughs> instead of using a deep sea diver, I could make, uh, I would more likely put an astronaut, you know. Maybe, again, I, I love me some, I know people say, why do you all use so many watches and so much emphasis on time? But I like it. I like watches and time. And if, you know, if I want to use it on every single piece I ever did, well, you know, then I will. All right, so this little guy here, maybe he needs a, maybe he needs a fish on him or something. I don't know. He, I don't have a place to put this fish, except that I can put it back in the book. All right. <clears throat> Fishtail, I should say. So then I do have, let's see if I can put my hands on it. Um, that's fine. It's an astronaut. <laughs> I just want to show y'all so some things that you can be so simple with just stickers. You know, it can be so, something simple with stickers or it can be more things where you have to cut things out or find things in old books and old magazines, depending on what you're going to do with it, right? You know, depends on what you're going to do with it. I need a, I need him, but I need him facing the other way. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can find us a little astronaut facing in. <clears throat> so their eye is drawn into the page, because if he's facing that way, your eye is going to go off the page. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Thank you, Pacola, for putting in some linkies. Do I have, let's see, I know I got more of these books too, but uh, I just pulled this one because it was handy. But let's see. See, like here's a little, you know, one little astronaut, but he needs to be facing the other way or something. So it doesn't have to be an astronaut. It could be the space shuttle. It could be, you know, but anyway, we could do that. I'm just trying to show some different ideas. All right, let's see. Um, so there's stickers, all right? There's your cutouts that you can get from like Tim Holtz or other people. Punches and your own shapes. You know, you can cut, just get a magazine, tear out, cut out, punch out, uh, textures and shapes. You know, it doesn't have to, this is somebody's artwork, but it's not, you know? Um, and then you can also use stickers. I just have, we're just playing with this particular page. And then you got these kind of things, these kind of cut out and collage books, which, you know, I got a gazillion of these. We could have, um, you know, we started, we started using these last week in something, but uh, look, just like that. Look how it's off the edge. That's very cool. And look how it just, uh, all right, this is what collage people love when these kind of things happen, look how I just dropped that on there and look how that lined up perfectly. I didn't, I haven't touched it. It fell right there. Look at that. Look how it fell right on that seam. You know, I couldn't have done that on part. Well, I could have done it on purpose, <laughs> but uh, I love that right there. So what I would do is I would take my glue stick and just put a little dab of glue there. 
And then I would trim off, trim off this top part here. Look at that. Ugh. I just love that. When those kind of things happen, here's another little piece of something. <clears throat> um it's well i don't know it's i call it it's more serendipity than anything you know when those kind of things happen and really compositionally it probably doesn't need to have a tangent right there on that edge but i'm just going to leave it because i want to show y'all i want to show y'all ideas right so i'm trying to show y'all ideas all right so let's get another all right let me move this one to the side let's get another uh, piece or, or another one that's cut down or I'll cut one down. Do I have one handy? <laughs> Do I have any cut one down ones handy? Let's go over to here and find something. <clears throat> Y'all know I flipped through this one earlier. These are all pages that have cut down stuff on them. All these, right? Some of them are more finished than others. But let's just pull one. Let's just pull this one. I'll just pull one. And when you look at when you've cut it and pulled it and, and just taped it down, look at it all different ways. You know, you can look at it different ways. This is the original way I cut it, but, you know, it could be, you could do other things. I can see just things coming out of here, whether it's, you know, just mist and stuff. But this is almost like very um, sea, sea-like, you know. Are y'all enjoying this? I hope. I hope you're enjoying seeing how to use some of your art journal stuff. Let's see. Let's go back to our little guys. Here's these little girls, you know. We have the little girls. We have the same guy. Some more of these guys. Here, the, that one's got a dog. We'll punch the dog out there. Let's just take these guys here. Just I just kind of want to show y'all how you can reinvent your stuff. Okay. See how they're sitting on the edge? <clears throat> but pick a few things. You know, pick a... I've got hundreds of things here. And that can be overwhelming. If you're not used to doing collage, you can easily get overwhelmed. I, I will be honest with you with that. So you need to kind of pick, pick and choose, you know, a few things rather than, you know, a lot of things to start with. And then if you, you, you say, oh, I really like this. I want to use it. Well, then kind of just set it over here to the side. You might use it on a different, you know, if you're working on two or three. I always work on two or three things at the same time. Y'all know that. But look at this right here, this marbleized paper. That might fit in. Plus, after I'm done here, y'all know when it's glued down and all or as I'm working, I'm also painting. I'm also using paint. I'm just, I'm just flipping through here. This is some of the stuff we used last week. <clears throat> See how I looked at this, this attracted me because of the color. The color of this attracted me to this. Look at that paint. <laughs> Vincent, all these circus character parts, you know, I think that's why we pulled this last week. We wanted Vincent to be going like this. <laughs> Okay. I, I, again, I'm. This is attracting me because of the colors. See how the colors all work together. <laughs> all right, I'm flipping. So you just got little bits of things like this. Now, I have to really 
make sure I don't keep too many of this kind of thing because I'll have too much, you know. I mean, look, this is just one, one of a hundred packs of stuff that I have. So I have to be careful not to save every little piece. I really like this one, but, you know, you got to be careful not to save too much. <laughs> Oh, because it will overwhelm you. So if you want to, you know, go by color, you know, find, just go through your stuff and say, I'm going to pick everything that's in this gray, blue, pinky, red, and pink colors. And, and only pick things that are those colors and see what, let's, let's try that. All right. So we'll, this one's kind of already got enough, you know, enough stuff for it. Let's pick it. Let's get another page with some other colors. All right, here we go. All right, so this one's got some pink, green, and kind of an olive green, okay? So I really don't want something. This has already got something on it. Let me, let me, hang on. Let me find something that doesn't have stuff on it yet, you know? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is good. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, here we got this one. So it's, you know, like bright yellow, lime green, yellow, and this bright teal colors. Let's just go through and see what we can find. All right. I'm going to leave this one here. We're going to just set this on top. Again, we could start with, you could start with, you know, a focal point if you really want. Just to, just to have something on the page. So you're not intimidated by the page. But then go through your stuff and start. Let me get bigger scissors. And I'm going to do a giveaway here in a minute. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to like that yellow with this, but let's look. I'll just cut it out just to see. And you don't have to fussy cut it first. Just start finding things. Just start finding things that are, you know, how we like to give our little girls sometimes, give them wings. We do that. Um, but just start going through your stuff and finding things that are this color. You know, these colors. I really like this little statue lady laying down. That would be a good one if with not these girls on it. But, um, so I'm just going to kind of go through and look. <clears throat> and I just look at, you know, I'm holding it kind of over the image and just kind of seeing what something that strikes me. If I don't have a theme I'm trying to do, because sometimes I'll have themes, you know. That even looks kind of good like that. The butterfly thing. We have something right up here. Like, uh, what do we got here? This here. I want to get rid of the red because I don't want the red in here. Just going to kind of... So we got our little triangle there. It works. <clears throat> Although this red might be going with this down here. Um, no, I like I like the uh, cupcakes. I like the pink and I like the pink and the cupcakes. All right, so let's go back to this. <laughs> you can work on multiples at the same time. Nobody said you had you didn't have to. <clears throat> Maybe that's floating. <clears throat> Some pears. More red. More pink for the other one. And you can stop at any time. And if I glued this down, I'd paint that in. So I'd glue this down and then I'd paint out the leaves. And we might stop and do that just so you can see. All right, let's go ahead and stop on this before I get too far, just so you can kind of see the like a next step. Is that good for y'all? <laughs> All right, so and again, it'll just be a demo. I'm not dragging out the matte medium today. Where's my scissors? We'll do this and we'll do the giveaway, just so you can kind of see here. Okay.
write down if y'all get any ideas while I'm doing this, write them down. Okay, I like all right, that's all I need. All right, so now let me get my glue here and I'm just going to quickly I'm just gonna tack it down just so we can play with it here. And this, this glue stick is not going to hold this little cardboard girls for long. But just so you get the ideas. Okay. All right. I think this might need to come down just a tad. All right. Now, I love the colors. Yeah, see? That's, this, that's just it, the colors. Now what I would do is, do I want to get ink out? Oh, that's the do I want to get some brown ink out? Do I want black ink, brown ink? Because this is kind of kind of black, has black and sepia kind of things in it. Um, I'll go with black just because it's handy and it's right here. All right, so I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of black ink. Let's just get a brush. And again, guys, this is just to throw out some ideas to you. Let's get a thin brush. I want y'all to have all the ideas I have. <laughs> I want y'all to know everything I know. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so so let's just see. First off, the, okay, the first thing I need to do is I don't like the white edge on there. So I am going to have to go ahead and put in And it really needs thinner. I think I need a thinner brush because I really want this thinner. The brush is too um, stiff. I need one of the, like, this kind. Real, uh, real thin and, you know, there we go tree branchy then you can put some thicker ones in there too so got some thicker and thinner ones in there And I'm not even really being very careful, guys. I'm just, like I said, I just want y'all to see the, get the ideas. <clears throat> Can make them more, you know, I'll say creepy, but more, you know, kind of more creepy. You got these two little girls here, you know, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, a couple of thicker ones in there. I'm just going back and forth between the thin brush and the thicker brush. So we got some thicker, some thicker branches in there and some thinner ones. <clears throat> oh, she won't mind telling you, Kat. In fact, she'll send recommendations for you to spend. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Me. It's telling you to buy stuff, Janet. Is that what you're saying? You mean like you're like you waiting for your um, Pantone, <laughs> waiting for your Pantone cards that aren't there yet, and you're mad at me because they're not there yet. <laughs> I'm, you know, not that it's my fault, of course, but you know. Let's see. Let's do a little bit more here. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's get this in here a little bit more. And maybe a little bit of kind of weedy looking stuff there. Maybe this branch comes off of here all the way off here. The roots, the roots, the roots coming off here.
could come down to the antenna. <clears throat> it's inspiring, MB. Okay. But, you know, like my intro on my YouTube channel, the no fear, throwing the pens, pencils, things going on. You, you, you know, you can't be afraid to try it. If it doesn't work, a couple things. One is every line I'm drawing right now exactly how I envisioned it to be perfectly in my head? No. But I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> like I might say, oh, this one right here, I don't really like that one. That one's not turning out exactly like I want. But I don't have to tell you that. You're not going to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not going to know if it's supposed to be there or not. You know, because it, it could be that way. It could be that way. <clears throat> so, you know. I guess my point is, is you're when you're making something and you have a vision in your head of something and it doesn't turn out exactly, well, it may not be exact, but is, you know, and, and it, that's going to depend on if you're doing a project for somebody, a commission, it's going to, that's different. I'm not talking about if I'm doing a pet portrait and it's not turning out and the dog's eyes aren't looking right. That's, that's different. If I'm doing a commission for somebody, that's a total different ball game in my mind right but if you're doing something like this and every little leaf every little thing doesn't turn out it's like nobody's gonna know except you and if it's not that big a deal then just don't tell anybody just do it and and say yeah i meant i meant that to, i pee wee <laughs> wait a minute time time for a pee wee hang on See if I can find it quickly. <laughs> See if I can find it quickly. Come on, my iPhone wants to be, I mean, my, uh, wants to be kind of slow in here. Or maybe I picked something. I need to go to YouTube, I think. I need to go to YouTube. Okay, here we go. Come on. Um, I have to, I think I need And then to do that, you have to have the <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Wait a minute. Let's turn it sideways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's keep working on this a little bit more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, let's do a few little more branches here. <laughs> oh my God. Trying to make them really branchy like, you know, real. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop because you get the idea, right? <laughs> All right, let me clean my brushes. All right. <laughs> So 
So don't be afraid to just play, right? Just play. So now I'll do sleeping. Why I can't move this over? I'm going to shove her butt over. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move this ink out of the way. Let's make sure there's no ink anywhere before I pull fabric out. <laughs> So, all right, let me take a quick break and then get, make sure wash my hands really well so I don't have any ink on them before I handle fabric. Okay, so I'll be on a beat. There you go. Take a screenshot of this for an idea. There you go. Take a screeny so you can get an idea. Random question, did Didi start this, the fibs? I did not name the fibs. I didn't, I don't say that I started it. I was one of the first ones. Gene is the word, one that coined the term friends in the box, fibs. And it was all of us that were in the fib, that we were all, that were in, around together at that time. So, um, and all of us that are still around, we still call uh, the groups, the fibs, friends in the box. But Gene coined the term. All right, let me uh, now, let's see. Do I trust Malibu not to walk over there? All right, I'm going to trust her not to walk over there. Back in the drawer. All right, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alrighty. Yeah. See, do I mean things and do you yeah, stuck my finger there, my masterpiece? Cause I meant to. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull some Selena fabrics. I'm gonna pull my bundles of Selena fabrics out, and then we are actually. I'm going to take. I still have three, three more journals, maybe four, to uh, that I'm deconstructing. So I will pull those out. We're going to work on that for a while. All right. So, yeah. And then I got this one kind of going on. I like it. I don't know what, really, I, what I would do with this, but I just like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let me, um, real quick. Let me just go ahead and just tack. And the thing is, if you just tack it down lightly with a glue stick, you can pick it back up. If you don't put too much. So, just to kind of hold your place. All right. So there's those two samples. All right. I'm going to pick up all this right here and just throw it in my book. All right. <clears throat> All right. Fabric giveaway. So let's pick this up. Move it over here. Here's our fabric of Selena bundles. They're, they're whittling down. I've, um, we've given away at least four, three or four out of most of the colors. Not one. Let's see. Red. We haven't. Nobody's picked much from the red. People have picked from the blue, the green, the pink, the orange. Some A couple people picked from red and purple. But we got more red and yellow. But you pick what color, you know, the blue, the green, the yellow, the pink, the orange, the red, 
or the purple when you if you win okay so i'll put this back up there in a minute that all just stays in that basket so the cats don't get on it all right let's see um all right so here's what we're going to do when i type in go where's my hand when i type in go put in a number between one and 100 we'll do international first so we're going to do international international and i'll do I'm going to do two. I'm going to do two each. Okay. So um, the first two people closest, and then we'll do USA only, and the first two people. So we'll give away four pieces of Selena's fabric since she stopped in today. We're going to give away more today. All right. So we're going to start with international. When I type in go, when I type in go, put in a number between 1 and 100. International only. Please pay attention to the rules. Please pay attention. I will need you to send me your address today. If you don't send me your address, then, you know, I mean, I, ha I hate to have to try to hunt people down. I just, you know, uh, it's a giveaway, people. Send me your address. If you don't want me to have your address, do not play. Okay, don't play if you don't want me. And I totally get it. I understand. But I don't share your address with anybody and I don't put you on an email list. I don't even share your address with the mods. And my mods know, you know, so there's been times when Jan and I go, you know, I can't remember. Like, I think one of it was one time it was CB. I couldn't find CB's address. And Janet goes, nah, I think you're going to have to message her. <laughs> or I think I sh she confirmed it later after I found it. And I said, is it so-and-so zip code? She goes, yeah. We don't share your addresses, people. We don't share our addresses even amongst each other. So don't um, don't worry about that. But if you don't want me to have your address, then don't don't play. Okay. So when I type in go Terry Brett, take that thirty eight. <laughs> Terry, that does not count. Did you see the go, Terry? <laughs> uh, I wish I had. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna stop for a minute. Keisha has the best has the best little clip of when people type in, and I'm not picking on you, Terry, it's okay. It has the best thing when people put in their number before the go. She has these cars skidding. They're going, because ee, ee. <laughs> she calls it skidding when you, uh, when you type in your number before the go. <laughs> That's okay. So you can put it in again in a minute, Terry. So when I type in go, put one number only, one number only. Do not take your number away, change it, remove it, put another one in because I'm on StreamYard and all those changes, don't I don't see them. Okay, so just put in your number. It's going to be the first two people closest, first two people closest without going over. <laughs> Okay, first first two people uh, without going over. Let me type in here. Let me get down my line. Here we go. International only. International only first. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, two people closest without going over. And then you'll pick your colors and then we'll do the same thing for USA. And uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! And then we're gonna take take apart some more journals because I pulled some more journals to show you. Let's see if I can get this closed here. This is just one of those. This is if I was gonna recommend one collage book to buy to cut up, it would be this one. This one has the most variety. It's the biggest. It's got the most fifty over over fifteen hundred images, and it's a variety. Right. So this one is really the first one that I would recommend. And then I've got you know, I've got 20 other ones, but this is the first one I would recommend. All right. So don't dilly dally dawdle or lollygag. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to get my hands here. Okay. Move, move, move. I get my Elisa hands here. Don't dilly dally, dawdle, or lollygag. <laughs> okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I'm going to bring up random.org while we're talking. 3, 2, 
one. Okay, there we go. First two people closest, my random.org. Let's bring up the little generator. First two people closest to 74 without going over. 74. 74. I love my hands. Okay, 74 was my Sharpie. Closest to 74 without going over. Okay, let's see. Let's scroll back. 74 without going over. Mila had 39. Oh, Yvonne. Yvonne has, four, okay, Jane has 52. It looks like Jane's going to be one of them. It looks like Jane, and Jane, you don't have to send me your address because I think I you just sent it to me a week or two ago. So you're okay if you if you do, in fact, win. All right, Jane. Jane had um, 52. So who else was the closest to uh, 74 without going over? Uh, who else had a high number? It might be Yvonne. Is it Yvonne? Okay, Yvonne, I will need your address, Yvonne. Okay, Yvonne had 49. So Yvonne, send me your address. Here's my email address. You've sent me your address within the last week. <laughs> it's okay. But I don't think I've sent Yvonne anything, if I have ever, oh, for a long time. So Yvonne, okay, so who was closest? Jane was closest. So Jane, you get to pick first. All right, Jane, what color? And I'll, I'm going to pick out of the bundle. You get to pick the color. I will pick the, the particular one. Also note, guys, each one, like let's pick this yellow one for a minute. Look, on the other side, well, this one happens to be kind of a yellow color on the other side. But a lot of them are totally different colors on the other side. Let's, let me find one here. They're totally different on the other side. So like if you pick green and there's a different, like this is on the other side. So I'm picking from the front, right? I'm picking from the front, but it might be, it might be totally different on the other side. Okay. So um, let me go back here. Um, thank you, Janet. I'm waiting on a, uh, did you pick a color yet? Where is she? Um, Jane, what color do you want? Blue, green, yellow, pink, orange, red, or purple? And uh, Yvonne, you'd be thinking of the same thing. Or you can tell me too, Yvonne, because there's plenty. There's plenty. Okay? So Jane and Yvonne, what colors do you want? Jane wants purple. Where's my... Jane wants purple. Yvonne, what color do you want? Yvonne! Woohoo! <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we'll keep moving on then. If she puts in what color, I'll write it down. I'll write it down on her sticky note. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing for USA. Move this away from. No kitty cats. Pink. Okay, pink. All right. Yvonne wants pink. All right. Put that to the side. All right. Now we're going to do USA. Same thing, but USA only. All right. <laughs> Hurting cats, people. All right. When I type in go, USA only. Same thing applies. Hubster's coming in the front door. Um, one number only. First two people closest. USA only. Let's get two more things out here. All right, wait till I type in go. No skidding. Yeah. <laughs> I love Keisha's little uh, skid thing. That's so, so funny. Okay, there you go. All right. And then we'll do a little bit more deconstructing, reconstructing. <clears throat> Sip on my water. So I hope y'all have been enjoying the ideas for, for deconstructing your journals. 
we talk about it every now and then, and I try to show ideas every now and then, but I really am going to, I, I of course I can't do, you know, it'd probably take me about four or five, six hours to take apart all those five journals I pulled, which I want to do, except the only one I probably will not take apart because I know that's all that's in this one is these pages. Like I showed, if y'all missed the beginning, you need to go back and watch, is these kind of pages. This whole book is that. So it kind of is self-contained in this to do background pages for Procreate. My Procreate pages are just all in here. I took one out just to remind me. But uh, <clears throat> the other ones, I still have a couple other ones to show you. All right, I'm going to count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Don't dilly dally doddle or lollygag. <laughs> One. All righty. Here we go. Let's pick a new number. All right. So that was the international number. We're going to pick U.S. number. Here we go. First two people closest to 23 without going over. 20, and if everybody went over, we'll pick, we'll pick a new number. 23. Two people closest to 23 without going over. Let me scroll back. Scrolling back. Scrolling back. First two people closest to 23 without going over. Rebecca got 24. She went over. 23 without going over. Let's see. Leona had 17. Leona had 17. Oh, Karen Kosh got it right on the nose. So Karen, K-O-C-H, Karen Kosh got 23 right on the nose. Who's the other person closest without going over? Okay, closest without going over to 23. Was it Lori Smith had, no, she had 28, never mind. 23 without going over. Was it uh, Leona? What, Leona had 17. Did anybody get closer than Leona? Leona had 17. Did anybody else get closer to 23 besides Leona? I think those might be it. Y'all go back and look for me. Okay, so thank you, Arlene. So Karen and Leona. So what colors would y'all like? Here's my email. Karen, I know I don't have your address. It's just easier if y'all will send it to me anytime you win. So I don't have to look and dig. And I got so many addresses, guys. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So uh, Leona and Karen Kosh, which colors would you like? We have blue. This is what goes in the blue family here. It just came out of here. It's a dark blue but that's blue. All right, so we got blue, green, yellow, pink, orange, red, and purple. What colors would y'all like? I will write them down. You'll be surprised exactly which one you get, but <clears throat> okay. What colors do y'all want? Blue, green, yellow, pink, orange, red, and purple. And Selena's given us these for giveaways. And I try to do it every couple weeks at least. All right. So let's see. Leona wants purple. Karen. Karen, did I miss Karen's? What color do you want, Karen? Green. Okay. All right. Just send me y'all's addresses, please. And we will get those out um, maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, Thursday at the latest. Okay. So, there we go. Fabric giveaway. Did that. All right. Let's see. Uh, you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. I like I like doing the giveaways. It, but it is like herding cats some days. <laughs> That's okay. <coughs> Thanks, Janet. Yeah, purple and green. I got that. And Yvonne wants pink. 
I got, okay, I got, I think I got everybody. Yeah, pink. Leona Purple, Karen Green, Yvonne Pink, Jane Purple, and Frank some Pantone cards. That's over there on my list. <laughs> okay, so um, now let's go back over here to this one. This one I do want to, I really would like to take apart the Pecola was going, oh, don't take that one apart. That's the one with your hand on it. But you see how um, you take your, take your viewfinder, take your viewfinder and go over any of your areas that you um, think you might want to make something else out of and then tear it out, cut it down, put that on a white piece of cardstock. And, um, oh, Janet, this was something for Janet, the barrel of monkeys. That was for Janet. Monkey Island Janet. Okay, so there we go. Um, the other, let me go ahead and pull the other ones here. So then I have this one. I don't think this one had, did I show this one? Um, it's another one. This is our who, what, where, when, why has this another, got another start with the nebula. This was the black pages, the black card stock pages that we played with. And again, it's the same thing. It's just started out on black card stock. You know, so yeah, I, I don't know if I even have enough in here to really take these apart. There's not much, I haven't done enough. Well, this one, you know, to take them apart. <clears throat> this one is far enough along. So let's go ahead and take this page out. And this page out. And we'll look at those two. Let's see. Do I have anything else that's got enough on it to really work with? I haven't, I don't have these, haven't been splashed on. Do you know what I mean? There's not a lot of paint on these. I just pulled that one. And probably not enough to show off in that one. So let's cut these two down. And then I've got two more. Oh, I got a big one. I got a big sketchbook to look at. We have about, we have 30 more minutes. Okay. So don't forget, Janet comes on at 1. Um, Christopher comes on at 2. So if y'all can't make Christopher's later, then go back and watch him. Because he is a, he's an amazing artist. Okay, let's see. I think right there. I think I like that. I want a little bit of that watch showing, but not a lot. Oh, I kind of like that better. I think I might forego the watch on this one. I'm liking that right there. It's right on the edge. It's right on the very edge. So I think we're going to cut this down. I think we're going to cut this down right here. All right, let me get my, let me get a white pencil so I'm not making too big of marks. You could take a photo of your hand on the cover and make a, yeah, I could. I could do a sticker of that. Although I don't know who'd want to, you know, one of my hands. <laughs> I am going to do um, more stickers for um, October of my movie monsters, you know, and my black and whites. I'm going to do more, more of these for, um, for October. There's my Poe. All right. So let's cut this down real quick. And we'll cut the other one down. These are kind, it, you can do it with scissors too and, and a rule, you know, right, you know, take, draw your line all the way down, but I'm just going to, I want to cut them out. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them out. And then right here. And then right at just the very, very edge, just a little jaggedy edge there. there. Okay, I like that. So again... Throwing this away. I'll keep this maybe. All right. <clears throat> now let me get a piece of white cardstock. So even though it's little, there's still possibilities with little things. Oh, I like this stair looking thing on the back. So what I'll do is then I will take and just tape it. Let me tape it, tape it up here. I think it might need a little bit more off the bottom there. I think I'm going to just 
trim a little bit more at the bottom. There we go. I don't know if I centered it, but we can work with that. So you can do, you know, artist trading cards or art cards. All right now, let's keep moving here. Let's do this one. Oh, I like that top. I like that too. Kind of liking that. Right there. All right, let's just make a little mark here. All right. Let's see. So don't be afraid if you're not using your art journals in any capacity or you filled a bunch up with backgrounds and you don't know what you're going to do with it, then you can do this. I like this. This, this almost could be a, uh, you know, a little bit of a wave thing and something going on here. I don't know. We'll worry about that another day. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> I'll just pull out two other journals that I pulled to do to show uh, to take apart. <clears throat> You can, uh, am I frozen? You see this. Have y'all saved something since since Devin said something? I don't know. Or maybe nobody's chatting. Could somebody say something in chat? There it goes. All right. All right. So there we go. We've got a couple more things to work with here. But I'm not going to work on these because I want to I want to move on to a couple other journals. So let's put that over there. This inside here. Here's the other two that we did earlier, which we haven't really done anything to this except just some collage. I think I would like some wet paint coming across there, even if it's black. I could get the black ink out. There could be some black ink wet wafting through there, or red, or pink. <laughs> wafting out of that little hole right there, that little portal. And then this is the one we did with the ink and the little branches, which I think really need to go almost all the way off the edge. But there's those. Okay. Next. Um, I'll show you these other two journals that I have pulled. Okay, I'm going to have to back out, I think, on this one. This is one of those mixed media sketchbooks. All right, let's make some room. All right, let's see what we had going in this one. So this one, <laughs> see what I'm saying? We have tons of this kind of stuff. Look, this has got lots of my deli-plated jelly jelly-plated deli papers and Smack and Dragons. Look at all this. This is amazing fodder to deconstruct. Stencils. This is a whole thing. <laughs> and this one has got, um, you know, I can just rip these right out. So let's just do a little flip here and see what we got. See, this is the stuff you cut up for art cards and you add other things to it. There's, here's some of my jelly plated deli papers see with more options blues obviously the blues reds oranges <laughs> stencils stencils what pagola say oh, i'm afraid to ask me oh okay bye pagola <laughs> thanks for coming in we're always happy to see you before you hit the road 
So, <clears throat> more greens. See how you can make things out of all this. All this. Where's my one of my little guys? I pack all my little guys away. <laughs> I got some in here. Oh, look at that. That one needs to go on there. Let's see. See, you just come, you just flip through your stuff and you're gonna see color ideas. I need some more of my little Tim Holtz guys or something. Let's see. Where are they? Where are you? Where are you, Timmy people? Ah, here we go. Trust me, we got lots of Timmy people. <laughs> Let's pull a couple Timmy people out here. A couple pretty ladies there. Oh, here's some little girl. All right, we just need a couple just to do the idea. So you can just do so much with the Timmy people. All right, let's just keep flipping. I'm handy. Let's see, look. This is nice, pretty pink. This little girl right here. Maybe some this color. Some gold. <clears throat> Are y'all having fun yet? <laughs> see here's what should frighten the crap out of every one of you i'm the only mod here uh-oh shh don't tell anybody i know tina had to leave a picola and julie's probably at work today um with the with the holiday she's probably working on the holiday you know so see look isn't this cool i don't want to cut her on me hey, it's probably better like that you see so what we're going to do real quick is, I'm just going to, we got this tape sitting right here. So let's just tape this down. Let's tape her down. Let's tape this down. Okay. Oh, got her a little crooked. Let's straighten her out a little. <laughs> Now let's tear this page out. <clears throat> I need to kind of straighten it out. There we go. All right, so we can uh, let's, let's let's take her down. Let's take her down. <laughs> Oh, it looks fun. It is fun. <laughs> and then again, we have all our other, we have all our other stuff here. If you want to look for pinks and oh look, look, serendipity. Serendipity. That just needs to go right there. I don't know if I like this lighter. I think I'm gonna cut this down. I'll look at it. Go oh, right there. See what I mean? See what I mean, Jelly Bean? <laughs> Did it happen? Could not have happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See what I mean, Jelly Bean? Janet, get the links. <laughs> uh, all right, see? Don't you 
Don't y'all like it already? And look, see on a piece of white paper that needs to be. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out because I'm going to just put some tape on this and tape it to a bigger piece of paper. Even though it's bigger than the 8.5 by 11 that we were doing earlier, it still needs its own little, it needs its own little home. Let's take this down. Needs a little bit of a frame. So we'll take it down. I like it. What do y'all think? Yes. I mean, you can do it. You could add more and more stuff. Or you could just leave it or, you know, come back to it. So I'm going to come back to it because I want to keep moving on in the journal. So there we go. Got another page idea. All right, so this, let's move this out of the way. Let's see what else we've got in here. We've got our two little ladies here for ideas. You know, there's so much, so much you can do. You could have a bunch of art, uh, right, since it's Juneteenth, we could have um, we could have a bunch of ladies like coming, stepping forward in time from past to now, you know, like, you know, maybe three or five ladies coming down like this to the to the now with the with the watch hands and time going out. Do you know what I mean? I, I just like that already. I like that already. I'm just gonna take this. I don't like this white. Yeah, I'll take that off. So we have purple. I'll have to dig out some more of our uh, Timmy people. But we have two there. And we could get at least three. You know? We could have at least three people there. Layer, layer them. Layered up. down, Or layered down, I should say. Layering. Okay. Get one more lady on there. See, with the white background for a frame, to have a, a focal, make it a focal point. This needs to be trimmed down a little more. See? And have a little bit more purple things here and one more lady here. Where's my bag? I got my bag. Let's see what we got here. Let me dig. There we go. Maybe she should be in the back, like looking forward. Like she's looking forward in time. Where's my. She's looking forward in time. And she's more looking at us. I could even have a couple of little girls. I know there's some little girls. I don't think it's in this bucket, though. I think it's in the it's in the one with all the little Timmy people. You know, the little paper dolls. I call them Timmy people. They're paper dolls. He calls them his paper dolls. So let's do this. See what we got here. See if I can find some little girls. Because he's got everybody. He's got everybody in here. Oh, here we go. It's a little boy and a little girl. That might work. You know, to have the kids like coming forward in time. What do y'all think? Do y'all like that? Well, a couple kids. <laughs> couple got lots of couples okay, let me put it in my lap i think i can flip it easier you like it for june yeah i thought so i mean i could just leave it like that you know with just 
those two. Let's tape that down, probably right there. Where's my tape? And there's even these um, Polaroids, you know, make it like more modern, you know, could bring it to the forefront of being more modern. Maybe I should have left the white edge so they stand out better. Yeah, it needs to be more like this. What do y'all think? Are y'all liking it so far? I'm just seeing how it looks as we go. See, I know I got more little, little, little people, <laughs> little, pa little uh, paper dolls. I probably need at least one, one or two more. Um, Polaroids, or uh, not Polaroids, uh, you know, the machine, where you went to the machine, have your picture taken. Oh, here's a little girl. Here's a little girl. I don't know, maybe I don't want to get, am I overdoing it? Am I getting too much? <clears throat> that. Maybe I need one old, I don't know if he has any old, old ladies. One old lady way back in the past would be amazing. Not, but not with these. It have to be because that that looks too modern, you know, with the with the photographs in the machine thing. I need to have one of these bigger ones. Let's see. Well, it wouldn't have to be. It just couldn't be the ones with the thing behind them. But if she's far back in the back. Then it would just, it could be a small one. Let's see. I'm looking, guys. Sorry, it's taking me a minute. Sometimes it takes a while to find the right thing you're thinking of. But I do want to show you those other journals, if, even if I just flip through them real quick. Let's see. These are all going to be too modern, I think. Let's go back to these. The big, the bigger faces. And see if I can find a... I don't remember. I don't know. I just don't remember seeing an elderly lady in here. You know. I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing an older lady. That's her right there. Those duplicates. Let's see what we got. It just doesn't seem familiar. There's lots of guys, too, but, and that's her. Um, but I want... Um, oh, here's a... This one's younger. Maybe I could have her farther back. Have the younger girl way back there. What do y'all think? Like that? Kind of peeking out from the past? And then children to children. I think I like that. Okay. We're rolling with this. All right. Let's tape this down. Do I tape them down? Let's tape her down. Now we need this tape to a page. Let's just tear this page out. Okay. Now let's tape this whole page down. And then I'll trim that edge off. Trim. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Come on. Come on. Double sided tape. I'm not looking at chat, guys. Sorry, I got I got all into this. I got all into the the moment here. Oh, well, there we go. Now then, they need to be stuck down here. Okay, now.
I like it. For on the fly? For on the fly Juneteenth page. What do y'all think? And I didn't even add any paint or anything, although something could be down here. It could use a little follow down, you know, so it kind of. But I think that's pretty good. Tim, Tim Holtz would probably be proud of me using all those people in one piece, wouldn't he? <laughs> Some splatters? Maybe. Maybe. Or some more trees. The trees because the roots, right? The tree roots. Like coming up this way and then maybe a little bit down here. Just a little bit. Let's go back over here. It's all dried up. Let me get some more black. See, I need to go to the other journals. Gotta get I gotta get crack a lacking. Gotta get crack a lack in here. Oh paint. Where's most brushes I had here? Okay, let's see what we can do here. Get my thin brush and my thicker brush. Let's see. So if I have these branches kind of coming up this way, kind of behind her maybe. Now, this paper is puffed. I mean, it's off the page. Look. See? These are off the page. Maybe a little bit of a root come up this way. And then I'll get the thin, I'll get some thin ones going here in a minute. And then I want it kind of coming down this way. Like this. What do y'all think? Hang on, guys. I'm not looking at chat. I'm trying to get this done. This probably should go all the way off the page, I think. Um, thanks, Devin. Thanks, guys. I think that's enough. Do I need more? A little bit more up here. Kind of, you know, almost like kind of like surrounding her like that. I think that's kind of nice. What do y'all think? I mean, we just, it's, we pretty much use Tim Holtz's people to do this whole page, which is fine. That's why he, that's why he prints them for us to use, right? <laughs> but of course, any, anything I post with, you know, him in like this much, I would give him a credit, you know? Let's see, maybe she could have a couple little branches coming up like this, right over her. What do y'all think? Is it finished enough to post though? I don't know. Y'all tell me. 
could title it the family tree. Yes. That's that's exactly what it is. The roots. You like the roots? Okay. So y'all, but y'all think it's does it look completed enough? I mean, we did this so fast, guys. We did this so fast. I don't know if, if I consider it, you know, but while y'all are here, what do you think? It's got enough roots going through the family tree. The family tree have enough branches. I just like the way the purple in the paper. Uh -huh, I don't know. I don't really want any splatters. No, I don't think I do. I like, because that will take away from the roots, I think. I think I'm just going to leave it. Let's just leave it. Let's don't add anything else. Let's leave it like it is. I'll set it to the side. I might look at it and decide, but I might post that. Because I like it. You know, and I'll tell, you know, give credit to Tim Holtz and his, his families. <laughs> all right, so there we go. Real quick now. All right, so I wanted to kind of just kind of flip through here. Um, let's see. So I got lots more. See what you can do, though, what I just did with those people. You could do that with, you know, any theme, any people, you know, or any subject. So I think I will end up deconstructing this book. I won't take the time to do it here on stream because you'll just hear rip, 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 you know. But I do want to, you know, keep the pa the pages, the um, deli papers that I matched up with the colors together. So I'll at least tack them down with some, um, see, look at this. I love this. This is going to be an awesome page. Right? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to deconstruct this. And then the last one that I'll show you real quick. Is this one's pretty old too. And this one is the one I wanted to show you because to show you, you can make you a journal out of, this is just folded over, I think 11 by 14, um, copy paper. This is a copy paper journal. So you don't get intimidated by doing anything in it. And it's held in with rubber bands, which I'm going to be honest, these are about ready to snap. These are old. So I have started since, and I would recommend instead of using rubber bands to use this. Let me see if I can put my hands right on. Uh, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, here's some. This is green, but doesn't matter what color. They come in all different colors. This uh, elastic stretchy string you can get in the jewelry departments. And it usually comes with four or five or six colors on a card. And uh, you really want to use this instead of rubber bands because the rubber bands, I've already lost two, I think, out of this one. So the, the signatures are already going to be coming out of it because these rubber bands, they get brittle. They dry and get brittle. So use some elastic cording to do this kind of project. Okay. Um, but it's just a bunch of copy paper folded in half. And uh, this needs to be deconstructed really bad. Really bad. This needs to be deconstructed. And taking, you know, your... Let me move all my, my Timmy people here. This needs to be deconstructed, you know, and it can be lots of different ways. Big one, big pieces, little pieces. Let's see. Let me kind of pick a couple other pages here. Oh. Let's see. Some have notes and different things that I've done with them. Oh, some just have... This. this is a good one. Um, liquid well came off the razor. 
I don't know if I want to know what that situation was. <laughs> what was that situation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like these two pages too. But you see what if you have a uh if you have a viewfinder, you're going to pick things you're going to pick things out, you know. This one I did more of a completed something, but you know, I'm not most of them aren't. You know, most of them are going to have just a lot of uh, this is coming out because rubber band broke. Let's see here. I'm trying to find something good here. <clears throat> I like this. Oh, here's another good one. This is a real good one for this. Because there's so many possibilities. Look, there's a tree. Tree on a hill. Tree on a hill with flowers in the foreground. Do y'all see it? You see it? Tree, hill, sky, foreground of flowers with that stencil. Do you see it? I got liquid well adhesive on my phone. Oh, my gosh, I hope it, you said it came off, the liquid well came off with the razor, I don't see any damage, oh my gosh, girl, keep your phone away from your area, oh, are you trying to watch us <laughs> on the phone, <laughs> you need to put it up on something, put it up on a, 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 a phone holder, Arlene, oh my gosh, girl, let's see, yeah, see, look, it, it's like a hill, a tree up there on the hill and a hill and then these flowers are like right there in front of you so much um so much goodness to your journals <clears throat> this one has a lot of stuff in it here's one i think we did this one we used as a demo we use this as a demo to do the do the uh, mist in the clouds because this is way more clouds and mist than I ever put on anything. But I think we did this to show how to do it, <laughs> how to do the mist and clouds and stuff. Let's see what else do we have here? And some of these are coming out of the, you know, because like I said, don't you know, use the elastic cording instead of. Um, instead of uh, rubber bands which will snap at this imagine right there <clears throat> okay so these are some more really good ones for this pro kind of project you know because you this is where you look for things on purpose you're looking for things on purpose i see a raven coming down here right there a little bit of the watch right there the raven coming down there trees in the background more trees like we just did see that okay Devin I'm getting ready to leave too so so I showed a little bit more of this book before we went let's see what else do I have here so much goodness in this book that needs to be taken apart because it's like literally just <laughs> <clears throat> I like this little guy here. There's a panda and a rabbit. And some little sketches and doodles and drawings and llamas and people. Let's see what else. So yeah, definitely this one can be taken apart. But all it is is pieces of cardboard, three pieces of cardboard, and it's taped with um, duct tape in this case. Now I use that uh, um, gaffer tape for the spines, but either one works. But instead of using rubber bands, use uh, that stretchy cord. And then just fold your, um, fold your eight and a half by, I mean your 
11 by 14 papers in half and make signatures. I think I got about 10 sheets in each one, about 10 sheets in each signature. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine signatures. So nine, this has got about 90 sheets of paper in it folded in half, which is like gives you 180 pieces of individual papers. That makes it 180 pages in this book. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out, go hang out with Hubster. And um, if he, I, he's, yeah, he's back. I heard the garage door open. So, any questions before we go? Or before I pick up? Janet comes on at one. And um, yeah. Did you read the little, did you read of the little book? What little book? Oh, no, but we can do that on Wednesday. We, we'll read out a little book on Wednesday because I did a giveaway today and uh, I did prompts. People did get prompts. So uh, we will do the little book on Wednesday. All right, guys, y'all have a great day and um, um, go make something creative. All right, guys. Bye.